All right, so a billion lines or the sun? A billion lines or the sun? Two trillion lines or the sun? It got to be the sun, right? I don't know. Depending on how close they get. I don't know if they could ever get that close, to be honest. But let's say, theoretically, they did. It would fuck up the mass of the sun and it could explode. I think. I don't I don't, I don't know shit about this. I'm just theorizing. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I could be talking out my crazy ass right now. But Wow. What would win? A line or a stick? What stick are we talking about? I'm talking a about branch a branch of a tree. Um, I would hope the lion it wins. Think Moses. about it. Uh-huh. It breaks the stick. Now there's two sticks. Who's really winning? Mm. Think about it. Oh, hold on. You're actually cooking. Look, 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 look. Because if a lion goes up against a stick, he breaks the stick. He goes off and thinks he won, but then he dies. The stick is still alive. Wow. I'm telling you, bro. The stick's underrated. Wow. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 130. I'm your host, DW, aka Darius, and I have somebody here with me, one of the hosts that hasn't been here in a while. If y'all missed him, don't say y'all missed him because... Let me know. Shit, his are ego's, you joking? His ego's gonna grow. I need grow. more of it, fuck. Say hello to What's the What's good, guys? What's good, guys? I just want to say a few couple quick things. I want to say uh, shout out to the people that reached out to me. El Divino 2.0, appreciate you, gang. Uh, Angelito, um... Lex the Indigo Kid, appreciate you. Indigo's a oh. color people, if you don't know about that. Daniel Garcia, um, shout out you. They I do, I do see your box and work on there. Love to see it, brother. Put in the work and a couple others. I don't really feel like looking for. I'm lazy, but I want to say I thank you guys so much for reaching out and asking me to be back on the pod. It means the world to me. Y'all hit me up more than my actual friends do. Type Makes me sick to my stomach, fam. Whoa. <laughs> and for the haters that hate to see me fucking back, love me or fucking hate me, you watched and that's all you can do. Damn, that's facts though. All right. You know, Jason was doing he was a he was a nomad for the last six months. So <laughs> if y'all don't know, he was just, you know, traveling the world and traveling to see other things. And you know, he's back. We're glad to have him back. Something, nigga. You might <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> You might see him in some more things for more IRL stuff coming yeah, soon. In fucking month. everything. No yeah. cap, I'm back. He just doesn't want to put me back for real, but I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many times I asked this guy. <laughs> but if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, post notifications, you know, it helps the algorithm. That algor- algor- algorithm. I, 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 <laughs> he's about the IQ test me. Can you say the word algorithm? <laughs> Cooked. Um, uh, what's it called? Give us a rating for all my audio listeners. I, lo- I know there's a hundred of y'all that watch or listen to us on audio. I know y'all on either Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Y'all can give us a rating, you know, that'll help us generously. And we've been threatening a lot of people to like the video. Why are we threatening? It works. Hey, but- pussies. On oh, God, I will crash the hell out. I will bomb your house. This is not a threat. This is serious. He is Crash Nebula. Uh, <laughs> he is Crash Nebula. No, but seriously, guys, like the goddamn shit. It's not. It's all free. It's all free. It Ro- is free. It's Road not gonna to hurt 10K. You. It's not going to hurt you. Road Follow, to 10K. reach out, subscribe, do what you got to do, ring the bell, whatever you got to fucking do, do it. Yeah. Simple. Join the Patreon. More episodes coming up soon. We just recorded one recently. You know what I'm saying? Jason might be on it. You never know. For what? I don't hear what you said. I'm not going to No, Patreon episodes. <laughs> I made it. Uh, I think it's weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, shout out to Bottle Joy. They didn't give us a sponsorship, but hey, they cool people. Give us free bottles. F- no sponsorship. Fuck see? Bottle Joy. You want to hold the bottle? Shout out to um, Purified Water. The greatest water. If y'all drinking Dasani or Poland Springs, you're going to die at the age of 45. <laughs> Letting you know that right now. But to start the pod off, we haven't done this in a while. Mm. We have an IQ test from my brother, just to see if he's still the smartest in the group that he proclaims. I mean, what's new? Let's see. So... I would say if you get nine out of the 12 right, I would say that you're very smart. Okay. And I'm very impressed. I'm in. I'm All locked. Right? I'm locked. I'm locked. I'm so locked. So, first question of the IQ test. Mm-hmm. Give me a country that starts with the letter W. Do I have a time limit? No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just write it down and we're going to see and show the people afterwards. Ooh. <laughs> this nigga really thinking. I don't know if I spelled this right or if this is a country. I don't know what country you about to write down. I have one in my head. Um, I don't know if this is a country. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I might be dumb as fuck. I might be exposed. But that's okay because I don't know if I spelled it right. I don't know if this is a country, but I, I think it exists. <laughs> I'm going to go with Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Yeah. That is a good guess, but it's that's not a country. Fuck. What is that? That's in uh, Canada. It's like a city. Fuck. 
God. That's actually crazy. Fuck. Why is that the first option? Your first option, bro. I don't. <laughs> I don't know nothing else, bro. I'm like, what lie. the hell? You know. You know what's funny? Uh. That you wrote that. I know what that is because you know I be playing the Filipino league. Yeah. So there was a Filipino team from Canada. They're fr- they're from Winnipeg, mm. and they fucking hit a buzzer being on in the championship game <laughs> that we ass. lost. I'll never forget that shit, bro. <laughs> the nigga was wide open. Oh my god, I wanted to fucking cry, bro. <laughs> Bro, this is—it was like one kid that played in the Philippines talking mad shit. He was cooking me. Hell we was yeah. about to win. Dang, it's all good though. <laughs> all right. Fuck. So that's one. <laughs> what is the most populated country in Europe? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm about to, yo, I'm so I'm actually guys I'm not smart. Do, do, do. I, I'm sorry that I ever said <laughs> I was. I'm sorry that I ever said I was. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Russia. Ooh, you got that right. Okay, Correct. Okay. I just wasn't sure because I know it borders like Asia and shit. Nah, that's history. true. That's right. All right. So, what temperature is classified as freezing? Fahrenheit or Celsius? Uh, You can put Fahrenheit since we're, we are living in the Fahrenheit in the United States of America. I wonder how many other countries use like Celsius. Every you... other country almost. Really? Yeah, well, a lot of them do. Hey, bro, we different. They're regular. No Gangsta. Regular, <laughs> <laughs> 32 degrees. Okay, right. okay. All right, all right. So you got two out of three so far. Yes. So what is the most famous volcano in Japan called? This should be pretty easy. Jason. Will no, be... it's not going to be easy because I don't know if this is actually a volcano. <laughs> Um, damn, I'm about to sound stupid because it could just be a mountain, but, um, let's see Mount Fuji. Yes. Correct. Okay. okay. Cool, cool, cool. All Dude, right. Did you know that fucking volcanoes are not considered extinct till they're 2000 years old or something like that? Or like it was like either 2000 or 10,000. I don't remember, but it was an insane amount of length to Two, where th- wait, it to might ex- be, uh, yeah, no, ex- it'd be considered extinct as a volcano. It cannot erupt for either a thousand or 2000 years, some shit like that. Really? It's, yeah. It's a ridiculous. So you're saying like the, if a volcano never like. From the beginning of like not time but like our like timeline. Okay, maybe I'm being dumb because I, I just it might be though. I just heard this shit the other day. It um, but I, let me let me see. Because you gotta remember, it's actually it was like a ridiculous amount of time. Like, bro, how the fuck did anybody even record that? Mm. Because you gotta remember, there are a lot of volcanoes that are just like mountains, but like yeah. they just haven't exploded. Like you know, there's a big ass volcano in like uh, what's that part called in a uh, uh, I forgot in like Wyoming. There's like a big like super volcano. They said that should explode. We dead. Oh but yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Nah, but no, it's over ten thousand years. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's more. Realistic. Ten thousand years. Damn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. So like they can't erupt at all. Yeah. That's a long ass time, low key. Yeah, no. Hey, bro. Hopefully nothing over erupts over here. All right. How many centimeters are in an inch? <clears throat> I'm actually really bad with centimeters, but according to my ruler. <laughs> I think it said my ruler. <laughs> yeah. You're doing pretty well, brother. Damn, it's either, it's either, it's one of two things. There's like, I'll give you a, if you get close to it, within like, depending how close it is, <laughs> then I'll go to you. I'm not going to be close because I, I I'll, I'll just shoot for the. <sighs> let's see, let's see. 16. Fuck. 16 is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, 16. Bro, fuck. I don't know. I really don't know how much any of these are. It's 2.54 centimeters is in one inch. That's yeah, why. I, I would never know. I'm trying to count the fucking, the inch, I, the inch marks in between on a ruler. Yeah, I think he was looking, that's looking like, I think he was looking like millimeters. Is that millimeters? It might have been know, millimeters. Cause, yeah, whatever the inch marks, there's 16 dashes between inches on rulers, but whatever. All right. Fuck. Well, Damn. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. How many liters are in a gallon? I'm not good at this either. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> you are one of the our military. You, bro. This has nothing to do with fucking anything, bro. <laughs> I I would never know this, and I'm gonna shoot high here and say that, but I know it's wrong. <laughs> How many wait liters are in a gallon? Yeah, in a gallon. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen his answer. That shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit was wild. Yeah, sorry for the audio listeners if y'all don't see, but we will announce his answers. Seven. <laughs> All right, that's that's not that wasn't that bad than the centimeters. It's actually three point seven or three point eight. Okay, okay, okay. I had three wrong, right? Yep. Everything else has to be right. Simple day. All right. Let's yeah. see. What is the state fruit of New Jersey? Oh my god. 
Why would I fucking know that? I'm not gonna lie. We learned this in like I remember I learned this in like fourth grade. Why would I know this? I drew a picture. I wish I had that picture. I was an artist back in the day, bro. Damn, I fell off, bro. What the fuck is wrong with me? I used to draw hella shit. I used to draw animals. It's an ab. It's not an abstract fruit. Yeah, it is. What you mean, an abstract fruit? Like something that's not common. But I don't think it is. I don't know. I know where the fucking flowers stay, the garden state, but <laughs> fuck what I know. Got a lot of fruit to choose from as the garden state. That's and the dumbest It can't thing. be oranges. I know that can't yeah, be. Yeah, no, that's like Florida. It is Florida. Who named us the garden state? I don't be seeing no gardens. Uh-huh. South like, Jersey, maybe. Yeah, that's right? that South Jersey shit. <laughs> Let's see. Lemon. <laughs> lemon is crazy. <laughs> Why did you think lemon? Um, Like, what was your first... React like what is your first like thought with lemon? Sour, but no, that's not why I chose <laughs> it. Jersey's I just, sour. I just know we'd have some dumbass fruit. To be honest, that's what I thought. Like no. you know, because because like you know, we got a lot of Italians that use a lot of lemons and shit. Do we like lemon? And what the fuck are we talking with lemon? Lemonade. <laughs> we make lemonade. What else do we use with lemon? So the state fruit of New Jersey is blueberries. For what? I guess we're very no we're known not. for growing blueberries. No, the fuck we. If, not. I'm not gonna lie. I would have thought I would have said cranberries. I know we have a lot of cranberry farms. I think so. Why the fuck would I? No. I'm telling you, I be having like random like memories, bro. Like that just unlocks shit. Like I remember vividly me drawing a picture of like, because we were the garden state. So like I drew like a, like a, a real life, like a blueberry, a cranberry and like some, like some berries in a basket, but they was like real, not real, but like they had like faces and shit. I don't know why I remember that shit so well, so vividly. What an bro. artist, huh? <laughs> nah, I, bro. I promise you. I used to. I wanted to be a cartoonist when I grew up. <laughs> then I fell off, bro. Then I met. Ba- then I got cut from the basketball team. That's what happened. Then I turned into who I am today. <laughs> Maybe went through a phase, bro. <laughs> nah, that was crazy. It was a wild phase. All right, you should probably get this right because you got the first one right. So zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to what in Fahrenheit? Thirty-two. Is that your final answer? <laughs> he said that no, very... zero degrees Celsius is no, it's not. <laughs> Give me right, it might not be. Yeah, no, it has to be because it's the Calvin point, it's the freezing point. It has to be right. Wow, no, you remember 30... that shit? Yeah, it's 30, 32. Okay, you yeah, got that correct. It has to be. You can try to trick me. All right, all right. <laughs> so, name a country in the in the Eastern Hemisphere. Oh, east is that way. I, was, oh, I, almost, said, I almost said a fucking continent. I was, I was about to <laughs> the shit out of myself. Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Yeah. Correct. Is Hong Kong considered a country? I don't know. If or it isn't, then I Or is I, it a I'll, city? Because I feel... I, or is it like... Isn't Bangkok located in Hong Kong? Yeah, I think I always Which thought I think be a city. I think I think Hong Kong's like the Vauxhall of China, located <laughs> that, that I'll say fucking the Philippines. Okay, that's correct. That's correct. All right, what is the capital of Washington State? Oh, dude, my fucking boy lives there. Yep. Shit. If y'all didn't know, Jason was stationed out in the West Coast in uh, where did you station at? Hawaii. Hawaii, in California. Um. Oh, Let's I'm see. probably wrong. Let's see. Seattle? Nah, that's not correct, fuck. bro. It's actually Olympia. Olympia. Fuck me. Olympia, bro. Washington is the capital of I Washington. I passed that test in fifth grade. I'll have you know. <laughs> I, knew all the, I know all the capitals. You remember that spelling bee we had in fifth grade? Hell no. Dang. I was like the third one out. I was dumb as shit, bro. That was so bad. Remember remember Success Maker? No, what the fuck is that? You don't... Bro, you remember Success Maker. The, the, the shit on the computer that we used to do every day. Bro, when in fifth grade... Mm-hmm. There was a computer in the back of the classroom, and okay. every kid had to go back there and do success maker. No, you never did that. I don't know what that is. Damn, this nigga. Lost or I don't him, remember. Man. I gotta show you, bro. You probably remember if I show you. Maybe. All right. Where can you find a tiger? Like, not as in like the jungle, but like what, like country? Asia. That's your final answer. Well, that's a continent, but you could say you could say a continent. But you could definitely find them in Asia. Yeah. Correct. It was either, I would have took Russia, China, Asia, or like, you know, Siberia in that area. Mm. All right. Last question. What is the State University of New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to real college, bro. <laughs> I didn't go to college. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Rowan's not in New Jersey, right? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be Rowan anyways. It's Rutgers. <laughs> is that your final? I only know two colleges in the state of New Jersey. Rowan and Rutgers is the only the ones you know? I don't even know if Rowan's in New Jersey, to be honest it is, with you. I know Keene. So but, would you take you Rutgers is your final answer? Yeah, I guess so. Correct. I'm a wow, fuck, I'm nigga a shot in the bro. dark, bro. Nigga had a I, shot I in the dark. I only know fucking two colleges. Wow. I didn't go to college. Hey, bro, don't worry. He's I'm getting cool. You don't need college, kids. That's Whoever's really telling you y'all need college is a liar. You and they need just to go in there and get your hands dirty. Blue collar work. You got soft hands, brother. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, don't, I J- Jason's going to be an electrician. I don't want to be on no electrician shit, bro. But let's see how many you got wrong. I think you probably yeah. you did yeah. Oh, okay, that's not bad. I'm a fucking genius. Uh, you like mid tier, dumb as fuck. <laughs> Fritz ain't answering half those things. <laughs> Nigga said Fritz Why specifically. There... Fritz. Fritz always be getting strays, bro. He never here. He never in the vicinity, bro. As you should. If Fritz had a sixth sense to that, bro, nigga would be twitching every day, <laughs> <laughs> like shit, bro. But nah, bro. It's always good to test your mental, bro. You know, a fun fact, bro. Like I learned that, you know. You know, like, how we have cells in our bodies? Mm-hmm. You know your cells have memory? No. So how like, would that work, though? It's... I have no clue. Like, there was a person that got, like, uh... What's it called? She had a heart transplant, and she said she was having dreams of, like, some random shit. Like, I think the Wouldn't other... Wouldn't that be your brain? Nah, it was like... Your brain's still active when you're unconscious. It is, but they said something where it's like she was having these weird, like, dreams about the person that... She took the she had the she got the heart from, like she was like seeing his memories or something like that, and like she would nah. ask the family. But I promise you, they said she asked the family, and they was like, yeah, like how you know about this? Like how you know? Like say say his favorite place to thing to do was like snowboarding. She would have like a dream about going snowboarding at this specific mountain that he likes. Like she would like see nah. his. Me- I, I'm telling you, bro. They said all your cells have like freaking um, memory to them. Supposedly, I guess I don't know if that deals with like DNA memory, DNA strands. No, nah, that's insane. But I don't know, bro. Like I feel like dreams, bro. Dreams always be telling me some shit, bro. I had a, yo, I had a dream the other day. Remember, remember when we went out, bro? Oh no, you didn't go out this when we went when we went out for UJ's party. Yo, this nigga Fritz got fucked up, bro. So, <laughs> so nigga, I had a dream that we were still in the in the club, bro, and it was like niggas brought like thirty other bottles, and I got scared and left. Never I'm, heard no pussy shit like that. I ain't no, I, I ain't no drinker, bro. I was in there observing, bro. I That's seen, not what you said on your birthday. Yeah, no, niggas, niggas, niggas was being bad friends on my birthday. It was no like, it was like, drinks. they was like, hey, man, if you don't finish this bottle, we're not your friends no more. <laughs> no <laughs> one said that. You, Chris didn't no say that. No one said that. Chris Larry said, said I want to finish this whole bottle because I'm GD. No, I didn't. That's what say, he said, wow, I didn't say that at all. Can't make this Breaks. shit up, man. Nigga said, Chris said, hey, man, if you don't drink a bottle, you can throw our friendship out the window. That's crazy work, bro. That's bad friendship. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I seen some wild stuff. I seen freaking, I seen some people take somebody's girl mid, like, in the club, bro. It's all I ain't go gonna, out, bro. It's all gonna go out. Hey, nothing man. good out there. It's ain't nothing good, good out there, bro. Stay inside, people. It's safer inside. Mm-hmm. But, ooh, I got another segment that we can talk about. Yes. Since Since the Oscars is... Maybe I think it's is it this week? I don't know if the Oscars this week or next week. I'm not really in the Oscars, but somebody told me about that in my job. What is that about for singers? Nah, it's uh movies. Movies, okay. movies and actors. So I decided to create our own Oscars. So the no regular Oscars. Huh. I have different categories huh. with different movies and we're gonna see which one is the best. Gotcha. All right. So we have best animated actor. Basically best animated character for from a movie that was in two thousand twenty three. We have Miles Morales, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mario, or uh, what's his name? Mark from Invincible. I use I put shows in there too. Damn. Who had the a better run in 2023 that you think? Like my personal favorite or like what would you what general would you, consensus? Who would you vote for? I fuck with Invincible so heavy, bro. Mm. Mark is so fucking fire. Tough would, character, amazing development. Read the comics thing. twice. Like I loved it. TMNT is cool, but like. Hey, look, we're we're modern. We're black. Wait, wait, okay, wait, like, black. We get it, bro. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Look, we could do TikTok memes. You're funny, but like, <laughs> wait, what do you mean black? They name was... one time Master Splinter was talking about. Hey, let's get Aki way. Like, I don't want to hear it, bro. <laughs> April wasn't like, nah, bro. It wasn't like nah, that. I mean, was, it's good. It was a really good movie, though. Nonetheless, they had a looking crazy. Very, very good movie. Yeah, April looked fucking nuts. That was absolutely nasty. insane, by the way. But no, it was a great movie. But nah, better than I thought. 
Yeah, better than I thought, absolutely. Mario was uh, absolutely fucking phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie, I loved Mario without a doubt. Because Did you was, watch the movie? Yeah, they, they. I mean, they hit everything on the fucking head. They shouted mm-hmm. out the old stuff, the new stuff. Every yep. it was perfect, that perfect, was a great movie. really genuinely. Um, and then Miles Morales. You got nothing to say about that, bro. Why? Nothing. To say wait, about wait, it. wait. Why? I don't like Miles Morales. Why? Why not? Because he's black Spider Man. No, that's not. Why. Let's go. We're doing it's a not why, slander bro. on Jason. Nobody give a fuck about Miles Morales. And yeah, go ahead, slander me in the comments. Suck my fucking dick. <laughs> I don't care, bro. Did you I'm, like the you know, movie? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and, <laughs> and incriminate myself. I don't like Miles Morales. He's lame as fuck. Pussy. Did you? Oh. You didn't like the movie? I didn't see the movie. Oh, you didn't see the movie? I don't like Miles Morales. Uh, Nor did I play the games. I like Miles Morales. Okay. So as long Mark, as he's consistent, either Mark or Mario, or Mario, whatever. I don't, uh, I'm gonna get fried in the fucking Jesus, man. Um, nah, you get fried for Miles Morales. Of course they are. Dude, you eat Spider Man. You want you Spider Man? How about you fucking get some pussy or something? I don't know. Stay out the comic books. Um. I miss this guy, bro. <laughs> but, um, no, I, pro, overall, I got to say Mario then, I guess. You got to say Mario? I would have went with Mark, bro. Honestly, I, I want to go. I really want to say Mark, but, like, I if like we're thinking consensus. about the general consensus, Mario yeah. would win 1,010%. So, I, my pick is Mark, but right. Mario overall. I'm a, I'll go Mark just because I like the fact that this, because, honestly, this year, superhero... In general, like movies and shows have been mid, very bad, mid, bro. like very Hella bad. Mid. Like if it wasn't for literally Invincible and like the boys, like it would have been really yeah, it would have been terrible. Like so, I feel like they're actually like he's actually carrying the load for all. Like I think it's fucking phenomenal again. And if you guys have read, and I know I just told you to stay out the comic books, but I can do whatever I want. I can be hypocritical. You read it twice. Yes. Like isn't it like three books? I don't know. I read it online. Oh, okay. I don't know okay. how many physical copies there are, but no, yeah, it's phenomenal. So, is all the way it, his character development is fucking gas. So, gas. is it um equivalent? Like, are they hitting it spot on from the show compared to or the comic book compared from to the show? From what we've seen so far, yeah. Okay, okay. it's pretty pretty on there now. Okay, okay, okay. But so our pick is Mark Grayson. So best superhero film after we were just talking about that, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Flash, Ant Man, or Blue Beetle. That's a, that's a terrible. Be lineup. fucking for real. That's Guardians ter- of the Galaxy. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Be fucking for real. It's crazy that Blue Beetle is actually number two. Oh my god, I was forced to see. Were you there? Yeah, we was all there. Bro, forced to see that stupid ass fucking movie, man. It wasn't <laughs> terrible, but it wasn't bro, the worst. I would never in my life see that on my own volition. Really? Ever? I think I thought it was. First of all, don't nobody care about Blue Beetle. Nobody does. That's I don't one. know why they made a movie about two, that. Two again, we're gentr- like we're gentrifying. Look, we're modern. Hey, look at this modern stuff we could talk about. Look, also Mexican culture. Stop over exaggerating. <laughs> stop over exaggerating. At the end of the day, they are fucking superheroes. They are turtles. They are whatever. We have to stop exaggerating these race fucking cultures onto them to be modern. Fuck you. <laughs> like I'm so tired of it, bro. This Fuck man. man. Has been to like, let- did we do this in the comics? Did we? Did we have fucking? Uh, I don't know, Blue Beetle eating enchiladas. Did we have George Lopez in the comics? Fuck no. Stop <laughs> over fucking oversaturating yeah, this bullshit. This guy man. has been They're waiting heroes. to get back on this yes, podcast. Even bro. Phoenix, Fuck, like bro. foaming out God the mouth damn. to say all this shit. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> but yeah, Garza. They just call me racist. <laughs> but I'm black, I can't be racist. What percent black are you? <laughs> <laughs> like I'd fucking know. I have the hair, therefore I'm forced to be black. Are you you're I'm Dominican, kidding. right? Yeah, I'm Dominican, Honduran, white, black, Italian, and Sicilian. Oh, you might be I'm a Haitian. Mutt. Okay. He might be Haitian. Let's relax. <laughs> he said, okay. <laughs> no shot. You never know, bro. You might no see shot. a little Haitian guy sneak in with the Dominicans. Because some that, Dominicans the look day like that happens, black. I'm crashing out. I'm blowing up a building with myself in it. What you mean? That means you culturized, bro. You really f- could. I do not want to be Haitian. You're just a Caribbean. You could, t- you could classify yourself as Caribbean, Loki. No, I'm not Haitian, bro. <laughs> Every single Haitian I've ever ran into, they have their own problems. Simple. Wait, because of the race. Wait, nah. There's, there's got. I could, I can name off the top of my head, right? I don't, you know, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna make you do the extra work of blurring them out. Big dude, dark skin. He has yeah. a nickname. Actually, he's a cool dude. You just say the name. I don't care. Little Bill. Love the guy to wait, death. But he's Haitian dude. by default. I can't like him. He's big. What do you mean? He's oh, he's I mean, I, I think you meant like, now, a, like a, like a, like a, like a big, like tall, nah, nah, like he's fat fucking dude. Fucking hockey shit, cool. Chris. <laughs> I don't even got a list of problems. But I love Chris to death. That's my fucking boy. Yeah. I love Chris with all my fucking chest. I'll do anything for that nigga. But um hey, but he's yo. Haitian, so he has <laughs> Um Ivinson. I used to hate that nigga in high school. Again, one of my best friends growing up, but he was Haitian. So he just had that Haitian shit to him. Didn't like Fritz. Did you Okay, did you not when did this hate for Haitian start? Ivinson, thousand percent. What year was that? Like twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen. Okay. Cause I remember that was the year when the Haitian shit was going around. Didn't and wow. you watch the podcast, but you're Haitian. Like, 
<laughs> Sorry, bad roll in life. Wow. Roll the dice again, maybe in the next one. Oh, this nigga is so sick. Shout out, shout out all Shout out Haiti, though, bro. Yeah, like, for real, like, we're Free killing Haiti. the presidents, bro. Good shit. Like, how do you want me to jump? Like, how do you want me to sit here and say the country's good? Honestly, we should take some notes from Haiti. We need to How about uprise. we go back to the 2016 Olympics? Jeffrey Julmas, his time was now, and he ran, he got hit in the first round. That was so Olympic bad. runner, by the way. Haiti just was never on top, and you never that will That just be. made the Haitian jokes just skyrocket, <laughs> it was so, I love that, dude. That's the best thing about it. Because that was the only time I seen Haiti in, like, any, like, yeah, exactly. like sporting event that exactly. was, like, they, were, they don't be in the world cup they don't be in like basketball like mm-hmm. do they even have a basketball team probably not i i highly doubt it that freaking sucks god dang bro freedom all right and then the ant-man i ain't gonna lie ant-man flash we're not we're gonna talk about that later flash, i didn't see the flash because I, <laughs> I had nothing nice to say about the flash and it was cool it was cool but it was very underrated like yeah. uh, not underrated like under like like overhyped that's what yeah. i'm gonna say like it was way I think it wasn't the first one of the year yeah Damn, why didn't you put the woman fucking Let's Go Girls? Uh, was it the Marvels? The Marvels, yeah. All right, that shit was me. Garbage. Was that that was Madam Web? Garbage. Yeah, no, nah, that was they. They, I'm telling you, they've been just downhill I'm like spiral. They're they fucking doing super ass. Hey man, Secret Invasions or what was it? Secret Wars? Secret Wars was ass too. I heard. Yeah, the show. Yeah, mid. Dang, that sucks, bro. They're just doing ass. They're just hey, doing man. super ass. Oh, the, the the bitch that's supposed to be Hawkeye. Um. Oh, 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 Hawkeye's daughter. I forgot what her name was. Uh, Echo. Echo. Mid. Echo's like, mid? I thought it was going to be good. I, I, well, nigga said it was going to be good because it was like they had blood in it. I guess. What are y'all doing, bro? Let me bring it. Let me, yo, let me be y'all writers, bro. I'm, you know, I'm going to make a comic book one day. You, oh, That'd be fire. You know, you want to know what my comic book is? I actually have it like planned out. Huh. So I have a comic book. It's literally, it's about, it's about a secret service. Right. Okay. <laughs> Stay with me here. It's I'm very here, here, here. so. Basically, right? Mm-hmm. It's about a secret group of people that mm-hmm. go in and do all the go- government's dirty work. That's dirty, original. Dirty. It's very. <laughs> never heard of that one. Never have. Never in this way. Mm-hmm. They do all the government's dirty shit. So basically, the world is living in a fairy tale land. Everything's all good and bad, and that these niggas is the ones that clean up everything and erase niggas' minds, essentially. So niggas that don't know that they're really being profited off of and being controlled but they don't get it like it's like the, the real world is like all like how it like oh you know all normal all peaceful all perfect but at the end of the day there's things that are trying to stop it from being perfect and they're like those are this group is the people that are trying to like you know protect the real world i guess okay and i so, like that i'm pretty sure that exists somewhere maybe but you never I like know it. no i do like it i do like it i feel like i've heard not heard but i feel like something like that exists but um here's the twist they do podcasts on the side, and they're they called do. the No Regulars. <laughs> <laughs> it is based off of us, though. We got one. It's a. They do. They stop the conspiracies, <gasps> or they create the conspiracies. Oh my god, no, dude! Actually, there's this manga called Don Don Don, which is yeah. it's um very cool. It's made, you don't know what Chainsaw Man is, but it's made by the same people. Who do I know that. Chainsaw Man. I know some stuff. Let's be real. Come on, bro. I but know it's really cool. So what they do <laughs> instead of like you know creating their own original monsters, they like take like fairy tale stuff. So like they've had like. Beethoven is one of the antagonists. Fuck it, I'm blanking really? right now, but like Japanese folklore, aliens, and shit like that being like basically everything that you conspiracy says about is like the enemy. It's actually really cool. Really? Yeah, it's actually very. That very sounds cool. kind of fire. I might steal some shit from them. Yeah, no, it's a very very cool story. Very cool. I'm manga. about to take that. Hold on, and like the so the characters right is the group. There's like how many is there? That's it. There's like six. So one of them. One Damn, of you them, cutting like half the team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I infused some people. So one of them is literally a nigga is a alien, but he's like, he crashed down from like earth like years ago, but they still use him as like a government thing. One of them is a woman. She fucking, what is it called? She was, her parents died. So she was in a foster home. She got taken from her foster home and was trained as an assassin. Two of them were twins. They got stolen from their families on a camping trip. And they but they they got experimented on. One of them changes got superhuman strength, all that shit into into hulking beasts, and the other one can control elements. And then one of them is a demigod of the of Hades. I thought you meant Haiti. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> so he's basically the son of the devil. That's fine. Which is crazy. I love God. No, it's but it's so his wife, so his mother brought him to the program to make him good. But he's trying to figure out how to be good. But his origin is the root of all evil. And I, yo, 
That nigga. They, oh, this bro. nigga's getting excited. Yo, it doesn't I'm exist. so excited. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, I wish I had the resources, bro. I wish I knew how to draw or like, like had some storytelling because it's just fire. I have one where the freaking underworld is trying to take over the world. <sighs> It's so good. It's, I mean, yo, I'd be like watching it in my mind and never is going to happen, bro. Damn. <laughs> one day. One day. If y'all looking back at five years from now, and I'm going to look back at this episode, episode 130, and I'm going to have that, I'm going to have that comic book, ma- comic book made. Because if RDC World could do it, man, no regs could do that shit. We, we the same niggas. They just got famous first. Mm. But. Preach. Type shit. All right. Next category. The best villain. So we have the high elevator. Ele- I'm wilding today The high evolutionary From Guardians of the Galaxy The Spot Homelander Or Megan That little robot girl You ever watch You never seen Megan You've seen this thing before It was like literally Like a little girl robot Like an android No Who's the Spot From uh Oh I forgot I thought you watched uh, What's it called It's from Uh Spider-Man Miles Morales one Boo can't be good. This is this is the Megan. No, I don't know what that is. Dang. It's basically an Android bitch that was like dancing and killing niggas. <laughs> killing people. That sounds so weird. Yeah, it was, no, then, it was... Yo, there was a scene in that movie where like she was about to kill somebody and she was literally breakdancing and she had like the knife in her hand and she was like... Shh, 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 <laughs> and like slicing everybody. That, that joke was so funny. But <laughs> what are the other options besides like spotting her? Homelander and the High Evolutionary. So the, the High Evolutionary was Homelander. That, Exactly. That nigga was the biggest crash dummy I've ever seen in my life. That nigga didn't give a fuck about nothing. Nothing. Literally. I want to rewatch. I got to rewatch that it's shit. It's so good, bro. Before, it's so fucking good, Before bro. the new season comes out in June. So I got to rewatch like, that again just to keep, they, remember. They, that, like, the actor for him is perfect, bro. I know. If I see him on the street, I'll be scared. Dude, like, he literally looks like a maniac, bro. He's good. <sighs> Homelander number one, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Even though he's not a villain. He is a villain, but people don't think he's a villain. That man is a freaking no, fucking menace, terrible. bro. And he's fucking awful. All right. The middest movie of the year. There's a lot of them Madam on here. Madam Webb. Nah, that was this year. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that wouldn't count. That would be number one. God, that they, they, yo, they hyped that movie so, so fucking bad. Garbage. Oh my god, they tried to put that girl in it from what was it called? From Euphoria in it to get the the horny dudes in there. <laughs> I've nah. never seen Euphoria. They got they got freaking they got, y'all got finesse, bro. Y'all seen y'all bad? <laughs> your favorite? Yeah, nah, hell no. Y'all got finesse. So we have the Flash, the Marvels, Ant Man and the Wasp. Or Indiana Jones, the Marvels, the Marvels, easily the Marvels. Did you didn't you watch they Indi- Lost Profit? Didn't yeah, you we watch? Lo- well, mm, did Indiana I, Jones. Did I fucking watch it? Were you there? What Indiana Jones? No, I didn't watch that one with y'all. No, I, I saw a little bit of it. Why wow, you went to sleep or something? <laughs> bro, whose idea was it to bring back Indiana Jones, bro? This old geezer can't be running no more. The <laughs> I, hell? I guarantee you 40, 50 year olds don't watch this shit. Dude. Come on, bro. Yeah, half, bro that's a classic. Shut them up. Dudes shit was dead, bad, bro. But the Marvels is absolutely the worst thing that's ever touched the universe ever. So. Oh, man. Why is it so bad? Why is Captain Marvel so bad? Like, why is nobody... Again, it's with, in my opinion, right? People are going to think I'm insane, but like, it's the modernization of like, they, they, like, they wanted to make her. Isn't she like, a dyke? Yeah, dyke. Yeah. Dyke empowerment. Woohoo! Yeah, we're modern. <laughs> we, we support everything. Cool. But, like, was she like that in the comics? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I highly doubt it. Also, so. adding a little Muslim girl into the mix for your fucking, your racial numbers. Weird. Yeah, they've been tweaking with that. They got to Don't nobody fucking care. And They're trying to bring a, ba- a Black Panther uprising again. Y'all can't recreate that shit with different <laughs> yeah, races. I hope saying, y'all know that. Bro. Y'all can't recreate what we did like, with Black Panther. That's not going to happen, brother. I don't know what they're up to, bro. But it, it, I, I know it lost, like, millions. <sighs> Fucking garbage. Yeah, bro. I put I, I I'll put the Marvels. I'll put the Flash just because I watched it and that was so bad. Oh my god, I was so mad, bro. This man pissed. I, like I don't know what at that point. Since you guys got the dude from Guardian of the Galaxy, the director, any other movie I was c- coming out with DC, I might as well just scrap them shits, bro. Mm-hmm. Just not even post like Aquaman, <laughs> bro. Aquaman made it onto on demand in like a week, bro. <laughs> That's insane. That's there's no way. A movie should go on demand that quick, bro. Because you know when a movie goes on demand, that means it's already out of yeah, theaters. it means us. That's so bad. Oh, my gosh, bro. Hey, man. And last question, or mm-hmm. last last category. We have best potential movie of 2024. Mm-hmm. So I have Joker 2, Deadpool 3, uh, the Godzilla versus King Kong movie, or the Godzilla and King Kong movie, The Strangers Chapter 1, or A Quiet Place Day 1. 
Deadpool. Deadpool? Nah, I think Deadpool 3 has a chance to really be great. I ain't gonna Bro, lie. It's gonna be the most go to thing of all time. It be- I mean, honestly, do you think the MCU did this shit on purpose? They made all the other other movies mid just so Deadpool could look so No, they'd be trying. I'm saying, hey, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, bro, there's no way they could consistently just create like mid tier movies and TV shows. That's wild. Yeah, no, they they be like super duper ass. Actually, I, I'm trying to think of like the last thing that really banged, but maybe the Doctor Strange shit. I mean, that wasn't even, even then. It wasn't that crazy. That wasn't even that crazy. That but was, it was like okay. it was acceptable. <laughs> yeah, it was acceptable. <laughs> I think that's the last thing that came out before. This the rest of the mid followed. Guardians three was good though. Oh yeah, it was probably it, had, it was probably just Guardians. That was probably yeah. the best thing. But like the best thing in like what two years maybe. Yeah. Think about it. Like even the show was like was the was the second season of Loki good? Apparently. Okay, so maybe that's what saved the Punisher. Movie. I don't know when the Punisher came out, but that was I like the Punisher. Mm. Very cool. John Berthold was a good actor. That was a. I forgot what that what's the name, what's the actor's name again? Who for the Punisher? Yeah, John Berthold. Ah. Okay. You ever seen him tweak, bro? What? I don't fuck with naps. I can't trust a motherfucker that takes naps. Wait. Y'all sleeping while the world's still going on, man. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that shit's say, for the birds, man. When did he say that bro, shit? Bro, if you just look it up, bro, I don't know. He was on some podcast. And he said it on multiple occasions. He's been on live streams, podcasts, talking, just on live. Just going, I don't fuck with naps, man. Yeah, niggas been crashing out recently, <laughs> This bro. shit is crazy. It's so funny, lie. though. Bro, you've seen... Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I've seen this one with... uh, Is it Sean Strickland? Is it Str- Sean Strickland? The Probably. shit, the shit where he was. Nah, first of all, he is hilarious, bro. One, I you you remember that one guy that was um he was a he was like a police officer, but he was teaching like self defense like with a yeah, gun. Yeah. So he so he was there with them, and this nigga Sean like had the like gun pointed at him, and the guy grabbed him, and this nigga Sean grabbed him and th- and like pushed him by accident, and he knocked over like the whole like shelf of guns, bro. Like, like he looked like I, like I got secondhand embarrassment from that yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, bro. Sean Strickland's actually a demon, bro. He's bro. white trash, but he's oh, amazing. Yeah, no, he's I fucking love him. Dude. Think he's racist. He's all. I don't want to think he is, but probably <laughs> deep down inside, he's probably deep rooted racist, thousand percent. I was so happy that he got the title. Even I don't care if it was only for just one fight. It was amazing. I was so happy that he won. He that. lost again. Yeah. Who he lose to? Who's who's the middle? Like, I haven't. I think it's Duples. Duples uh, is the guy he lost to. I haven't seen no UFC in a minute, bro. Dude, I've, this card coming up this Saturday is fucking crazy, bro. Is that the one with um Sugar Sean? Yeah. Cheeto Vera. Mm. Hella good people on that. Is it three hundred yet? Yeah, it oh, is. UFC this 300? is three hundred. Okay, I think. okay. It's either that. Or, it's either no. It might be two ninety nine. It might be two ninety nine. I don't remember. Okay. But this card's crazy this weekend mm. for sure. I haven't been tuning. I ain't gonna lie. There hasn't been. I've been. I've been watching. No, UFC the last for couple cards been, been kind of ass to be honest. Yeah. Like crazy. But this card. I seen Volkanovski get fucking rocked. Dude, he got cracked. You want to talk about crash out, bro? So when he fought Islam, I don't know if you know that is mm-hmm. the, the fucking Russian all the Khabib fucking genetic all the niggas, clone incest all the fuggers was straight. Yeah, uh, chin those, hair and those no motherfuckers mustache. from Dagestan and all that shit, bro, yeah. they're beasts. But I hate them because, again, it's a division ruined when they're there, bro. You know they're going to fucking dominate it forever long. Mm-hmm. Um, So when he lost the second time to him, yeah. he was like, oh, man, he got me. He's a good sport about it. But then he goes like, I, I just I need you to get me back in the ring, man. I'm like, I'm, I can't be happy unless I fight. I get this beautiful wife and kids, but like, it still doesn't make <laughs> me happy, guys. I need to he fight. He said that? Yes. <laughs> and then he gets this fight with this dude back in his division. Which uh-huh. he's been undefeated in for a minute. Like, hasn't lost he, in a minute. Feather? No, it's either Feather. No, I think it's Feather, Feather. Okay, okay, okay. Um, For a minute, bro. And I'm watching the other dude come out, right? I've never heard of this guy, but he's undefeated. I'm like, oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Bro, and then he walks out to this fucking, like, this Spanish song. And I'm like, dude, this guy looks like he's a hero right now. <laughs> dude, he looks like he's the main story of this shit, right? Yeah. I'm watching the fight. I'm like, yeah, but certainly Volkanovski cleans, bro. He got fucked up. Well, he didn't get fucked up, but he got caught with a crazy, yeah. crazy hook. Done. That shit is crazy. And I was like, oh my God, this thing is going to kill himself. I was like, Vulcan obviously he's going to kill himself. He's no longer a champion. He just lost his last Because he fights. is a crash. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that bro. nigga is extreme crash dummy. One so on like, one, bro. I really hope he's the one. On he's my favorite fighter. Really? Yeah, he was definitely my favorite. Because like mm. my very, I was watching UFC here and there. Yeah. Um, But he was the first fight. I was like, I love this fucking guy, bro. Because ah. he knocked out, Um, might have been Korean Zombie. And after the fight, he goes, I'm too fucking good. Mm, I'm too fucking good. It was Korean zombie. You guys need to fucking start training harder. It was, you guys are not going to take me out anytime soon. He did that shit for like a year. Damn. Until like right now. I, I love Volkanovski, bro. Damn, humble. Bro. Insane. Is that humble, though? Nah, it's cool, though. It's showmanship. You got to do yeah. something. You got to show some showmanship. He's, he's, I, he's fucking dope, man. He's fucking dope. For mm, real. That's tough. Nah, I fuck with Izzy just because based on... I liked how like 
his like attitude with shit. Like nigga just didn't give a fuck about nothing. Problem bro. is, I don't think Izzy's gonna be champ no time soon. Yeah, bro, he, he has still... some fucking demons in that division. Like, really? uh, you know, uh, the dude he has like huge beef with that whole thing. Uh, uh, Alex Pereira. Yeah. Dude, that he guy's got, a fucking demon. Bro, like, he's not normal, huge. bro. He's not normal. Huge, bro. He's not normal. I don't give a fuck. That dude's literally a Stonehenge, a walking Stonehenge. Bro. That dude's a demon, bro. That nigga like 6'5", like 2 something. Yeah. And lanky, bro. Yeah, no. it's it's When it's he trouble. knocked that nigga out, I was so hyped. Yeah, no. I was like, thank you, guys. He's bro. trouble, bro. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. But isn't he? I thought he he went up to uh, light heavyweight. Did he? I don't I have no idea. Either way, he's trouble no matter what division he's in. Mm. It's not looking good for anybody else. Dang, bro. So, even... It wasn't John. I know John Jones was supposed to fight somebody, but I think he tore his He's ACL. He's the champ right now. Yeah, but I think he was supposed to fight somebody, but then he tore his ACL. I have no idea. Something like that. But I know that's why he hasn't been fighting in a his while. His dick suck is so crazy. I don't know why niggas like John Jones so much. Bro. I get it. He was really good back in his day, but he cheated. He beat his wife. He did drugs. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, he's like, a bad person. But, hey, I ain't going to lie. That whole family is like crash outs. Yo, you see his brother is fucking hilarious. No, his brother plays for the... um. Oh, he has two brothers that play in the NFL. One, I forgot, I think he played for the, the Colts, and then the other one is really good. He plays on the Raiders, but, like, the nigga had to go on leave because he was crashing out. <laughs> Bro, nigga was saying, because uh, uh, he used to play for the Patriots. And you know you know, uh, Aaron Hernandez, right, the nigga yeah. that died in jail? So he was saying, like, yeah, bro. Y'all, y'all wonder who killed him. You, know, you wonder why Aaron Hernandez died, bro. Look at Mike Daniels. And Mike Daniels used to be a coach for the Patriots. Mm-hmm. But he was his head coach at the Raiders. And he was like, yeah, bro. The reason why I fucking Aaron Hernandez was Mike McDaniels. He killed him. He was saying that all over Twitter. That's and they had to enough. take it. They had to take his Twitter away, his Instagram. And they had to, they arrested the nigga. Just making sure he was good. Make sure he wasn't hurting himself. And then he hasn't played football since, bro. Mm-hmm. Now he just be on podcasts, like, <laughs> going crazy. That whole family is wild, bro. Yeah. But, hey, man. Even, yo, there's so... Yo, I don't know if you've seen recently, but this nigga Ryan Garcia has been crashing out. No, too, I bro. don't. I I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. But apparently, he's not lying. Apparently, bro. Because what makes you? Because again, he seemed perfectly normal. He's a perfectly normal dude. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's just saying this shit. Either he's had a mental breakdown, which I think is unlikely. I think that someone's probably after this nigga. Bro, you don't just do that. That's what I'm saying. But for the people that don't know, bro, this nigga Ryan Garcia, he had. He's one of the. Big fighters in the industry right now. Famous on TikTok, all that stuff. The nigga went out on Twitter and said that he got kidnapped and taken to the woods by all the elites. And had to watch. And had to watch them shit. do bad things to little kids. They said He said Bohemian Grove was real. He said he swore on everything. He has proof of it. And I'm not going to lie, bro. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know if he's doing this as a stunt for his fight that's coming up on Saturday, I think. Could be. But it like, could be, but that's that's, that's, insane. A, that's over the You're top, bro. You're calling out insane shit at that point. Exactly. I ain't gonna lie, because there's niggas that could really make him have an accident, and like, or really take him out and make it look oh, like an accident. thousand bro. percent. If and no shit, one could do anything about it. It's some crazy shit, bro. So do you believe like what he's been saying? I, I feel like he has to be telling the truth a little bit here, I'm gonna be honest, bro, because... Yeah. You don't just say shit like that. Like, did you even? Because that puts your life at risk for mm-hmm. for what? For publicity? Exactly. Fuck it's not no, that famous. It, like he makes it's, bread. Yeah, he makes enough bread as it is, bro. He doesn't need to be any more famous than he is. You don't just say shit like that. So bro. does this make you believe in all that Bohemian Grove <clears throat> shit and all that? I don't really know what Bohemian Grove is. What it's like, devil worshippers? It's like so basically, it's like a like a campground in like California where all the elites go, like the old presidents and like famous people. They go there. And they do rituals, and there's like a big owl statue, mm-hmm. and they have like cloaks and shit. And I guess they ritual do rituals and like discuss, like have big meetings. I think that's where they had a meeting about dropping the nuke. Like that's um, where one of the maybe it exists. I don't think anything that they do matters. No, I, it does exist though. Somebody had footage of them walking through the shit. Yeah, it probably does exist, but yeah. I don't think they're summoning anything. I don't think there's any deals with the devils out there. Else, mm-hmm. I would have fucking made one. I'll sell my You're fucking crazy. soul for a bag. You're uh, crazy. Listen to me right now. I will no. sell my <laughs> shit for a bag. Okay. God, he's not. He's not. He not. He not here I, right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Yo, nah, I would never. I, I, like, I love my life, bro. Cause it comes with. I don't have to die for me to sell my soul. I'm selling my soul for when I die. You know. Look now, let me. Now, I'm glad you said that, cause I actually have a story for you. Mm-hmm. That about the first person who ever sold his soul, and what happened to him? Supposedly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically, the first there was a guy. There was a I think I don't know if he was a slave, but it was a guy. His name was um, what was the nigga name? I forgot the name. Oh, his name was Robert Johnson. Mm-hmm. One of the most famous blues musicians ever, whatever, in the 1920s. Supposedly, he went to the crossroads of uh, 
of like a street in Mississippi. Yeah, he made a deal with the devil, right? Made deal with the devil. Be like the best. Uh, Blues. Something, yeah, but something like that. Some instrument. Something with right. his guitar, right? They yeah. tuned his guitar and yeah, shit. I've heard this. And I guess he died at the age of 27 mm-hmm. from either from poisoning, either poison or somebody killed him. But they don't know what it is. And he was like, have you ever heard of like the 27 Club? Yeah, isn't like Juice whole... World in it and, mm-hmm. and um, like a couple niggas. other people. So niggas said he was the first one. And it's like, I didn't know. I knew G- Juice World was in it. But then there was other niggas like, you know, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. And Jimi Hendrix died at 27 from poisoning. Like, I think he had like some fucking, I think he got, uh, no, he had an overdose, drug overdose. And then uh, Kurt Cobain, same person. They said he sold his soul. So, uh, died at 27. But yo, you know what was crazy about that one? They said Kurt Cobain, right? When he got off of out of rehab, he wanted to change his will because he had everything going to his uh, girlfriend at the time. And right before he changed his will, he died. Like he he supposedly shot himself in the face with a shotgun. Yeah, he did. But it, they say like the way he was holding it doesn't seem like like comfortable. I don't know if it's comfortable. But it doesn't seem. It looked kind of fishy because like now his girlfriend gets all his bread. Yeah. And right when he was about to change it, he died. So they said it was the girlfriend, but I don't know. I don't know about all this selling your soul stuff. I don't think, but I just think there's something. Well, I'm not taking a bad deal. What? What you mean you're not taking a bad deal? I'm not taking a 27 deal. What you mean? You think you have an option? He came to me, nigga. I ain't go to him. If he wants to get no, my no, you soul, have to s- you're going to have to. What are you going to do? Kill me right now? No, you have You to don't s- have that right, I feel nigga. Like you have to. S- that's what all the bohemian shit, they summon niggas. Cool, you could summon the devil in front of me, but he can't fucking do anything unless I sign a contract. So if I'm not getting a good deal, why am I bargaining with this nigga? Nigga, you're going to die. What mm. the fuck? Are you Eventually, talking? I'm going to die just like everybody else. But if he's not giving me a good deal, I don't have to die anytime soon. <laughs> what is up with you? If he's giving me a good deal, if, I, if I'm going to Could Have Been Records, I'm signing the deal. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, this nigga is crazy. I just need a good deal. Nah. All right. Uh, I'd make age a deal 50. with God, too. Huh? Age fifty, Whew. um, fame and fortune, done deal. Like you, your street, like you're. A, a, I don't really want fame and fortune. Oh, thank you. I don't really want fame and fortune. We, we to be don't. Honest. Yeah, like I, I, it's not what I'm interested. Exactly. in. Exactly. We're not interested. Um, in he's just joking, everybody. He's joking. Ha-ha. Okay, I'm not trying to sell my soul for something like that. I don't. I don't want to be overly famous. What the fuck, you want to sell your soul for money, <sighs> happiness? Yeah. Oh, money. Probably happiness. You know, money included. Hopefully, just to be funny. I don't want to be overly rich, but. Rich enough to uh, I don't have to worry about shit and just happy. Fame and fortune, just nothing good comes Damn. from it, bro. Niggas gonna think we sold our soul when we blow up and then come back to this clip and they hear Jason. <laughs> they go, y'all gonna, oh God, they're gonna kill us. I'm gonna pull up in the Maybach. Now, I ain't gonna lie. If we ever had a conspiracy on us, that would be heat. I would love that. Somebody make a, That'd somebody, be so cool, bro. That'd be. I wanna get big enough to where we could have drama. Where niggas are dropping videos like, bro, I heard Derek said this about Jason. <laughs> And I'm, I'm on the other side like, yeah. man, fuck that nigga. Yeah, bro. I'm I'm, I'm exposing him, bro. Surviving Darius 2027. Yeah. Watch it come out, bro. Nah, this man is actually I want evil. that. Yeah, I want that so bad, bro. <laughs> like, we, we could do it right now, but we're just not big enough yet. We got beef right now, but we're not big enough for me to tell you. <laughs> fuck. I mean, they will understand. Hey, I'm not, I ain't out on the beef. But I ain't, I ain't. Darius, here's the issue. No, I'm not going to You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to expose you. But let me tell you this. Bro, October, this nigga had beef. He had beef in fucking October. I don't want to hear it, bro. I did. I did. But, you know, I also look at it as, like, you know, I I love I love all you guys, like, my brothers. And at the end of the day, I don't like confrontation. <sighs> here's, the, here's the deal, bro. Let's get serious, bro. Here, here's another topic, bro. Let's get serious. <laughs> if we was really motherfucking brothers, would we have the pride to do the shit that we do? We would. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's not brotherhood, bro. I've, I've, I've fucking fist fought niggas in the Marine Corps. And yeah. still fuck with him. Pride aside, even with all the pride in the fucking world, still fuck with him. Yeah, I have not fought, fought a single nigga in no regulars or in flea bands or none of that. But niggas, man, fuck this, man. I'm, I'm done sugarcoating. Oh, it's God. bullshit. It's bullshit, bro. I don't care. It's bullshit, bro. If you're okay, so here's the thing, bro. We are not women. No disrespect to women, but this is a typical thing that they might do. They might have something and internalize the issue, and they want someone to just guess that there's a problem. That's not what we fucking do, bro. If you want somebody to help you out with your fucking problem, you say something. It's simple, bro. It's simple. And I know a couple niggas that fucking did, to be honest, sat there and said, hey, I have this fucking problem. And no one said shit. No one gave a fuck about it. But when it's you, you're upset, correct? Makes no sense to me. Why don't we all have a... We all need... Why don't Everybody we all have has a- fucking problems. But again, how is anybody supposed to know anything unless we talk? I hate them. 
I would. And, and, and here's the fucking. <laughs> and here's the thing. And here's the fucking thing. We don't. We don't get the choice as brothers, right? Yeah. To sit there and pick and choose when you want to be there, right? And I'm not talking. If you want to call me to, hey, can you do the podcast today? And I duck your call, right? Yeah. You don't really need me. You kind of need me, but you don't. But if you're like, dude, <laughs> I got into a big fight with my girl. I need to talk to you about some shit. I'm picking up that shit every fucking day of the week because you just told me the issue. I know there's something and like you're calling me for a reason. I mm-hmm. can pick up that phone. I don't get to pick and choose when I'm there, right? Yeah. Even if I don't want to be. And you also don't get to just walk away from an entire group of people regardless of the fucking reasoning and show up again whenever the fuck you feel like. I, I feel like there's something in order to be said to like at least some of these people who needed you to be there for them, but you weren't. I feel like we... I feel like now I'm airing this bitch out because I, I, wait, 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 wait. No, because I, I don't even crash fuck, nebula. Because no, I don't even. Crash I, nebula no, is I don't think I don't even want fucking problems, bro. I miss my fucking friend group. And when I sat there and said the shit I did in the fucking chat, nigga said, "Bro, I just think you're wrong." Disliking my message. First of all, the nigga that disliked my fucking message hardly even shows up to the group events that we're fucking at, bro. Let's be fucking honest, right? That's one. Two. The other nigga only fucking sit there and comment something when somebody else says something. Do you have your own thoughts or be a shadow? Like, let's be real, right? And I'm over <laughs> here creating beasts right now, but we already know we had this, but we don't have, we don't have, we have too much time to talk to each other, right? I don't even want to be, I want to be friends with everybody and I miss my fucking friends every damn day. I do too. I, I feel like, like I'm a bridge, but you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't get resolved unless we all have a conversation. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? About the pod, but Nick, I'm fucking like, damn, bro. That's the only way it will ever resolve. Off, we can talk like, we could talk about it here. We could talk about it there. But as long as but we don't, if you don't talk about it right here, like together. Thing. I've not- never had an issue with manning up and going, my fault, I did something wrong. I do shit wrong every single damn day because I'm a dickhead. No fucking doubt. I'm not in the wrong. I did nothing no, 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 wrong no, no, no. to nobody. I don't want, I don't, wait, I, no, no, no. I didn't do nothing wrong to so confused n- right no, no, now. No, 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 no. We're not fucking confused, bro. You should, you should <laughs> put the clues together, bro. I did nothing fucking wrong. <laughs> I did nothing fucking wrong. I was supposed to just mind read somebody and figure out that there was something wrong with them and that I didn't reach out. How the fuck am I supposed to know, bro? No, I'm not. I, nigga, no, wait. I had my own shit really going on, my nigga. Out. No, I had my own shit going on. which you guys don't understand. I had real world fucking problems. I didn't have these fucking, ooh, I'm, ooh, I'm sad. Nigga, I fucking had judicial problems, nigga. I, this nigga's crashing oh, out. Bro. <laughs> fuck. Oh, I love this guy. Right, let's get back to But it. nah, I, I don't say, I'm not saying that you have to apologize, like we're apologizing or doing that. I'm just saying we want to have an understanding of where A is coming from and where B is coming from so we can get to C. But I get both. But I get both. But we're not upset for the same reasons. I'm not upset that they didn't reach out to me. Yeah. They have no reason to reach out to me. Everybody knew my business, no doubt. Everybody in this group chat knew that I had my legal issues. Everybody knows. Did anybody reach out? Some here and there. Okay, but that's not where I judge your friendship. Yeah. Where I judge is where you go, I'm upset because you didn't reach out to me, but how the fuck am I supposed to know? You knew I was having issues. You knew another nigga was having issues, this, but did you reach out to them? This First is of all, why. when they reached out to you, did you reach back? Fuck no. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. This is why. Brotherhood my fucking ass. You know what I'm going to do one day? I'm going to tell all y'all to come to a pod, and it's just going to be y'all, y'all, and I'm just going to It's going to be like the fucking baddies reunion. <laughs> it's what's going to happen, bro. Yo, this is so crazy. Nah, I just think this is what like I said. I understand. Like I've been I've been hearing all y'all. And I just think that we all just need to have a conversation. Not just be like, oh, this is what I did wrong. This is what I did wrong. Why are you feeling this way? Why is it this way? Because I feel like y'all have different y'all have an idea, but y'all don't have the whole picture. That's cool. But I think again, and this is general, but it's if you not want just a specific I don't, situation. I'm so yeah. down. I'm not. I nigga, I love to talk. I am the biggest fan of confrontation. I really am. I have no problem with fucking <laughs> nobody is, on this fucking just earth. Just said he's toxic. I Women really. I fear no man. That. I fear no man. Not even God. I don't fear shit. Oh, I fear besides sub mechanophobia, <laughs> I'm scared of animatronics underwater. Right? Cool. <laughs> he's sick. But my fault. My fault. I won't disrespect that no more. That's not bad. Um. There you go. What's I'm gonna call it? Uh, no, dude. I just think in general, again, and this applies to everybody outside of the situation and viewers watching or listening. Mm-hmm. If these are really your brothers, right? Yeah. You. I don't think you really have a fucking choice to sit there, and not like, oh, man, it's just dirty work, bro. Like I, it's just half like again, and I'm really not. I'm really not even talking about most of these niggas, bro. I'm talking about one specific person because that's the person who meant a lot to me. Again, these other niggas, I'm not even a name drop. 
you're my friend and all, but we're not as close as me and this other dude was, right? Yeah. The dude that I'm specifically speaking about, I'm not going to do all that. But that's why I'm pissed off. Yeah. Because it's him. I don't, nigga, the shadow and the other dude, whatever, bro. Whatever. <laughs> the like, shadow is crazy whatever, work. Bro. Like, if he doesn't want to reach out to me, we, we were never really that close to begin with, right? This is so bad. I mean, it is what it is. It's just <laughs> the truth, right? Like, He's been waiting. Don't, but don't, like, y'all don't go at me. I didn't, hate, I didn't, he's not talking about me. <laughs> he's not talking, but hey, man. If first y'all, of all, <laughs> whoever is a detective of the podcast. like. Yeah, I'm gonna love this it, it just it just shouldn't be a fucking choice, fucking bro. It really man. should never be a fucking choice. And if I am telling him if he is watching this, I if I knew you had something wrong with you, I would have reached out. But I didn't know. I didn't. Right? Mm-hmm. But it, but it's I still think it's dirty work regardless of that, which I am sorry I will, for. I will talk to you about it afterwards about something that I think will not shed light to it, but give you a better understanding. But regardless of, what, of that, outside of myself with my own issues. Yeah. The other fucking issue is completely dirty work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero fucking reason. Niggas did not reach back. I understand. Zero fucking reason. I understand. But whatever. I'm gonna talk about that. I will, well, let's let's okay. let's actually let's, <laughs> let's actually get into let's that another podcast. Thing. Let's, okay, no, so would did. you rather be mm, I don't know an air balloon or a light? <laughs> I actually be an air balloon. Why? Honestly, an air balloon. Think about it, bro. You get to fly. You want to be a light? I'm shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like honestly, you want to be a light bulb? You can't move. At least I'm. I'm. I can move around. I get to see the world. Hot air balloon. Air balloon. A hot air balloon. Wait, are you talking about like a hot air balloon or a balloon? I looked at the helium balloon over there, but oh, okay. I realize now that I probably meant hot air balloon. Okay, if we talk about hot air balloon, yeah. they, they, a lot of them are in Africa. Really? I would love to. Uh, I, I watched the. There was a movie with the uh, Adam Sandler. The I forgot what's that movie called with that one girl from. Uh, Oh, what's that movie? Blended. When they went to Africa, they went on a hot air balloon. Very good movie. It's, a, it. it's like a rom com though. Oh. I love rom coms. Oh. But uh, I got another. Oh well, it's not another topic. But I was talking since we were talking about like niggas getting exposed. Have you seen? You know they're coming out with a Nickelodeon documentary. Yeah, bro. Apparently Dan with Dan Schneider. Yes, bro. Apparently that dude's been doing this for a minute. They've been talking about this that he's yes. obsessed with little girls' feet and shit like that. Bro, crazy work. Bro, insane work. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna tune into that documentary. Hell that yeah, bro! Crazy. That's my childhood. We're talking about every exactly. every girl that was on the show. Apparently, was like harassed. Yes, and crazy. not even bro, not even girls, bro. Niggas, even dudes? bro. The the first interview of the episode or the the series is Drake Bell, bro, from Drake and Josh. He supposedly said that when he was 15, he was being essayed by his um dialogue coach. I think his name is like Ryan Peck or something like that. That's fucking insane. And I'm not gonna lie, like. That's why. That's why I really do think that a lot of the things where they say about these rich people with these kids is kind of true. I don't understand it. I'll never get it, bro. I don't get it. What happens when you get rich or famous and you just want kids? I don't know. What? 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 Like. I, I, that's why. I, yo, it might be some evil, evil rituals they're doing or evil traditions that they're doing back from the olden days, like I, back in like knights and warlocks or whatever, and they're just bringing tradition over, and that's why this is just modern day. But I just feel like it's just. Getting too crazy. Like at the end of the day, people have been talking about this for years. Like Jeanette McCurdy made a whole book about this a while ago, talking about how Dan Schneider was making her uncomfortable. People like Victoria's Justice, all the people. That's why. That's why if you don't realize that Nickelodeon, they don't really have a lot of seasons. They be having like two, three seasons max. It's crazy, bro. I don't. I I can't figure it out in my head to be honest. And it's re- like, yo, it's like people don't ever realize like it's been happening. Not even in Nickelodeon, but all like forms of media. Like you remember that one commercial with that little girl, that little little white girl it was on all the time when we i forgot what her name was but it was like a very it was like a really young girl and she was like maybe like four or five and she was going around dancing singing and i forgot what her name was if if so if you know who i'm talking about put it in the comments but it's like they had it was like her imagine her she was like four or five but she was like an adult technically but she wasn't an adult but like they was treating her like adult like she was doing like like working in jobs she was like the like the little sweetheart, but like they had grown adults like grabbing her, picking her up, touching her. Some weird, like that's some weird stuff. That's insane. I don't bro. like talking about it like that on the on the internet because you know it's a very sensitive topic. But it's really that's weird, bro. Insane, bro. Like I don't, I don't get it, bro. Like it's it's a crazy world. Dirty Nickel- fucking work. Man. It's sad that Nickelodeon is being exposed for that because that's really our childhood. Yeah, it's hundred percent our childhood, bro. Like just imagine how many people, how many people they paid off to not say nothing, and they did stuff with them. Even bro, they said. That remember Zoe 101? I love Zoe 101. You know why I got why I stopped? 
because Zoe got pregnant, bro, at 15. Yeah, Jeanette. No, it's not Jeanette. No, it's, it's um, um, Britney Spears' little sister. Yeah, yeah, And I didn't know she got pregnant. I didn't. I had no clue. And supposedly it was from, they said it was from a boyfriend. But people thought it was Dan Schneider, bro, because the kid looks like him. And that might be a stretch, so disgusting. but that's crazy yeah, no, work, so bro. Disgusting. And like that, that, that's why they couldn't like make a show because like the last season is like when she got pregnant. I think she was like 15, 16. Mm. And they said it was her boyfriend, but it's like, it's a weird world, bro. There's the, a lot of truth is going to come to light, bro, with that one, with this one show. And I'm, 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 tu- that. I'm tuning into that shit, bro. I'm tuning in. But I got a, I got another topic we could talk about and I have some other shit. So since we was talking about game, uh, movies and stuff like that. Which video game do you think, if it was turned into a movie, would be a blockbuster movie? Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider? Yeah. Really? People love Lara Croft. Mm, no, I mean, like, if a video game that's not a movie. Is Tomb Raider a movie? I think so, yeah. They made that into a movie. Oh, maybe it is. Um. Yeah. Like, how they did with, like, Uncharted and stuff. Like, what video game would you want to see as a movie? Bloodborne. <laughs> You're sick. Yeah, should we go? Crazy, bro. Any Dark Souls game would go fucking nuts. Wait, but which one was Bloodborne? Was that the one that we played? It's the one on PS5 or P- PlayStation. It's what? exclusive. How is... So... You're what? a hunter. Oh, you're a hunt. Yeah. Explain a little more. I kind of forgot. Do you know what Elden Ring is? Yeah. It was that for PS5, but it was like with like werewolves and, and it gets crazy into like Cthulhu shit, but it gets... Mm. It's very fucking good. But um, no, uh, something that's more generalized so that people can understand. I was, like, was going to say God of War, low key. God of War stupid oh my god with the mcu now, i don't want live nuts. action though i want would you want live An- action with no that? anime would definitely anime would be go better, crazy oh a god of war that should go nuts low key i was thinking like an among us movie okay like, all right look, 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 let me let me, let me look, you look, shot and you missed look, look, it happens look, 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 look. You're, you're one for two <laughs> let me tell you my thought process i'm thinking of like a murder mystery slash comedy like as in like uh like that i don't know if you watched that shit with uh adam sandler or uh, gla- oh, the, the, the the one on the cruise ship. Yeah, the cruise ship. Really like or that. or like uh, Glass Onion. You ever watch Glass, Glass Onion? Is not, really not, good. Knives, knives out. Knives, knives out. out. So fucking good. So imagine man. that with Among Us, like on their no, own spaceship. No, I couldn't imagine. That bro. could be funny. What are they gonna say? Imagine they, Do they have- even speak. No, oh, they did like grunt. <laughs> like, nah, okay. bro. You get it with it like with a cartoon, but a movie is crazy. Let me work. think. What else? I don't um, know. I'm I'm trying to cook right now. I don't play nothing good no more. Um, what other games? Hell divers, that's the main one that's out right that now. That shit is so ass. I don't care what you niggas on TikTok. You think, don't like bro. hell divers, bro? It's disgusting. It- it's it's made for people who like Vikings and white people. Period. <laughs> period. And people who didn't get over Halo, bro. You like, think it's we're too repetitive? Thirty years old. You think it's too repetitive? It's absolutely too repetitive. And again, people, bro. I saw this fucking comment on YouTube on a hell divers. Really like, bro, the fact that they have two different factions, bugs and robots, shows how diverse they could be. With their <laughs> en- Bitch, it is two versions of enemies. Wait till you play any other video game enemy, like ever, where you see different <laughs> enemies. Like you're a fucking moron. And then you have the stupid ass fucking propaganda nonsense, which I think is cringe because like I was in the military, so I think propaganda with the military is cringe. They're like, you got to go to Malevolent Creek. The real battles over in Malevolent. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nigga. Yeah, it really gives me Halo like, vibes. I loved Halo. Uh, imagine you had a real gun and you had to I don't know shoot down range ever in your life you're pussy <laughs> you're just happy that you have a cool dive mechanic otherwise that's no, cool it's fun for like an hour <laughs> it's cool for the dudes that sit there go to your 9 to 5 you get back you have your TV dinner you get one round of the game in you put the beds to sleep you hear your wife bitch about something and you go to sleep that's what it's cool for for a nigga sitting there to play in it more than 2 hours you're fucking crazy to me you're I ain't crazy go, you know it. you know I can't play with it by myself but if I have the guys with me, I think that would be funny. Yeah, no, with your friends, anything could be fun, I think. But I think that would be funny. The game is so fucking overhyped. Again, it's just been game after game that's been overhyped, but it's really dog shit in reality. Like, mm. before this was Power World. Yeah. Uh, before that, it was Lethal Company, which was cool, but come on, right? Like, whatever. I don't know what's going on with gaming right now, but gaming just ain't hitting. It hey. really just hasn't been hitting, bro. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitch. We'll be playing games now, bro. We do. And we're going to do a lot more things. We're going to be reacting. We, you might see Jason them watch a Baddies Club. You never know. <laughs> you never know, people. But, yeah, what are the games? Tekken? That will kind of be... Tekken does have a movie. They do? Yeah. Really? Is it an old one? It has to be old. There's one that's old, and I think there's a newer one that's animated. Or was it a show? Oh, animated. Oh, that's not bad. But there was there definitely was a movie. Or are, are you th- or are you thinking about Mortal Kombat? No, Mortal Kombat haven't had a movie, but Tekken 100 percent had a movie. Oh wow, 100%. I didn't even know that. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to think. I don't play anything. 
or haven't played anything that's that good in a while, to be honest. Damn, aren't you the gamer? Yeah, I play games every day of my fucking life, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> I just play competitive games. I haven't played like a really good single player story game in fucking forever. I, Bioshock could go crazy if you played Bioshock. Mm. Um, how's that? How's that game go? That's the shit where the city's underwater. Mm-hmm. You don't know about that? I don't know about Bioshock. Bro, that's crazy. Really? Yeah. No, I'm pretty. Honestly, I don't know the story all too well. I played when I was really, really young, but I know it goes insane. Like it has one of the best plot twists in the world mm-hmm. for gaming. Um. I think it would go cool. Mm. There's also one that's in a floating city. It's very cool. Uh, so is it like you you are like it's like the apocalypse or some shit, or is it like there? I don't know if it's the apocalypse. I because like, I I can't remember. I from what I assume, honestly, Earth might just be fucked because everything <laughs> takes place in like in a floating city or an underwater city. Yeah. And I think people, oh, fuck it, dude. I have a fun story about that, but I don't really remember, to be honest. I don't really remember, remember the story, but I know it could probably go crazy if it was a movie, so I could understand the story better. Uh, but I played, I remember when Blockbuster was still a thing. Yeah. With the Blockbuster, I didn't know what it was. I got it, put it on the Xbox. The very first thing, you're going down this elevator into the underwater. Yeah. Something, I think it's called the Splicer, crawls on the elevator. I ejected the disc, put it back in the case, returned it the next day. I was too scared to play <laughs> oh, as a kid. Nigga didn't even get into the fucking gameplay. <laughs> Not when I was a kid, no. Wait, how old were you? Like eight? 10? Uh, old enough. <laughs> Probably like middle school, but I was still terrified. Wow. I was fucking terrified. Bro. Oh, well, since we can, we can like air out some stuff of being scared and I'm not like, I don't, I don't feel alone here. I ain't gonna lie. The reason why I didn't get, like, I was, I was like you, but I like, I at least let it played out. I didn't like anything with blood in it. I used to get yeah, scared. That's pussy. But like, I used to get scared. What the, wait, time out. You literally. Okay, no, you got it. You got it. Because when I was a kid, <laughs> I was a kid, uh, real quick, little side thing. Pirates of the Caribbean, when they go into the cave where the moonlight hits and you turn into a skeleton, yeah. couldn't watch the scene. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do it, dude. I couldn't do it. I ain't gonna lie. I remember third grade. I'll never forget. Niggas called me. The uh, People called me scary afterwards. I got invited to a birthday party in third grade at a movie theater. We was going to watch National Treasure. I'd never been to a movie theater without my parents ever in my life. And I got scared. I didn't know what National Treasure was. I called. I didn't walk into the movie. We went to Union Theaters. I didn't walk into the movie theaters. I called my mom and she picked me up. I couldn't watch National Treasure. <laughs> I thought National Treasure was like a, a freaking scary movie, bro. Why? It's it's about pirates. Like, I didn't know. It's about like just like a hunt. Like I don't know. It was. I it wasn't. As I know sc- I had Nick Cage though, so it can't be scary. Bro, I got clowned for like a good three, four years after. Yeah, that. no, it's bad work. Feels like work. that. He's like, yeah, there was a scared of National Treasure. I'm like, dang. I feel like I've said. Have I said the story about my worst nightmare before? I probably have. What? But the thing that caused my worst nightmare was the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody episode where the haunted room. Yeah. Yeah, no, that episode gave me the worst nightmare. Wait, life. what was your worst nightmare? Um, long story short, I feel like I've talked about it before. Maybe I haven't. But um, long story short, I start out empty parking lot, fog, like Silent Hill kind of thing. If you've seen Silent yeah, Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, fog everywhere. But only thing that was there was a yellow car and a red phone booth. <laughs> I went to, I go to the red phone booth. I pick up the phone. Static. Nothing. Right. I teleport. I'm in my house. Oh, I'm outside. I was living in Kearney at the time in a two-family home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm standing outside the, the door. Uh-huh. I open it to the living room. Bugs covering the fucking wall. Covering the wall. Dude, my military friends clown me for this for a minute because what you're about to hear is funny. <laughs> I didn't think it was funny. Oh, wait. I think you did. I, I don't definitely have talked about it because once you hear it, you might remember it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Bugs everywhere. I run to the couch. I stand on the couch. I'm fucking shivering, shaking, shitting my pants. Like, literally just want to die. And there's a spider looking at me with a top hat and a monocle and a mustache. I <laughs> shit you. It's it's the tiniest little fucking spider. It's iridescent. I remember it was clear. Like you'd see through it. You'd see its organs inside. And he goes, what are you looking at? <laughs> I ran out of there. And here's where it gets really fucked up. <laughs> I, I'm i telling you, bro. This, it takes a crazy twist. I look in the hallway. My mother's chopped up into bits, bro. What? Chopped to bits. Like, limb okay, for limb, yeah. yeah. Chopped. This is, yeah. And then I screamed and I woke up. Wow. Okay, that's kind of <laughs> sick. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I don't remember that part. But yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. No. I used to have. I, again, you know, I have nightmares almost every night. So do you still be having nightmares? Yeah. Every absolutely. Night? Yeah. Um. I had one recently. I can't really remember it now because again, they don't. I, I tend not to remember these things now because it happens so frequently that I don't even think. So about like, it twice. all right. So you say you have nightmares frequently. Like, yeah. what do you mean by that? Like, like, do you have the same nightmare? So when I was a kid, it used to be more like I remember one specifically. I like was getting chased and I locked my door and it was like three three Grim Reapers. So it was like more monster fight. What the heck? Back back when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, but nowadays, it, you know, demons and monsters slip in there somewhere because my mind's just moving. Mm-hmm. Um, but nowadays it's more like uncomfortable situations. Like I go to work. Yeah. But like, 
something would happen at work where everybody was fucking pissed at me and like I just have to leave and I don't know why and I'm stressed out. It's like more anxiety inducing wow. nightmares nowadays. You're like, do you think that's telling you something? Probably <laughs> right, but who cares? Because <laughs> I wake up and I'm all good. Actually, I, I remember now. I just I had sleep paralysis the other night. Oh no. Um, and. Uh, did I sleep like a, I think I have autism, right? I watched Love on the Spe- <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. But like, I watched Love on the Spectrum recently, and I'm looking at these like autistic people. I'm like, bro, we have too much in common, <laughs> right? So like, I might be autistic. That's wild. So I sleep kind of weird. So like, I have to burrito myself in the blanket. My mean? feet have to be tucked in. They have to be tucked in the blanket. I, dude, it's, like a newborn. Dude, I'm like retarded. I'm telling you, I'm so stupid. Like, you sleep yeah, like a newborn, kinda, bro. The size don't have to be tucked, but my feet have to be tucked, right? Uh huh. And also, I sleep. I have a fucking issue with. I have like. I, I'm telling you, I'm retarded. I love silk, right? So if you ever see me like this in my hoodie, I'm playing with the tag. Yeah. Because I like feeling silk. I have silk sheets. I have silk pillows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I have a silk kimono. Uh huh. You sleep I, in that kimono? No, no, no. But I keep it on top of me and I rub it while I go to sleep. I'm weird, bro. I'm a weird <laughs> motherfucker, bro. I'm just being honest, right? Um. So I have to have the kimono on the black side. I don't know why. Again, I have like minor OCD or something. I'm autistic. Um, so I have to come out on the black side. My feet have to be tucked and I always keep the blanket over my head like this. I, my face has to be covered, but my face has to be sticking out. That makes sense. My head. Has okay. To be. So you mean like, so you look like, like a, like a cocoon basically. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, 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 you know, like you ever watched, um, Ice Age where they found a baby and it was like his yeah, face like, yeah, yeah. like wrapped up. Yeah, that's up. exactly what I do. So I had sleep paralysis. So only my face was sticking out. So I can't see anything over here, anywhere else besides in front of me. And I heard this little girl laughing. I swear to God, I heard a little pitter patter. And then I felt, again, felt something jump on the bed. And I'm like, bro, I gotta get wake up. Bro, I gotta wake up. But I gotta wake up. And I was like, wait, it's, I'm having sleep paralysis. I just, gotta, I just gotta wait it out. And I heard all this laughing and shit. And I was like, all right, whatever. And then I woke nah, up. you need to. Yeah, yeah no, no, I no, calmed no, myself no. down, though. Wait, Jason. You're... Same thing, in, actually, in class yesterday. What? You heard I had sleep laughing? Paralysis. No, I had sleep paralysis. Oh, so like you fell asleep in class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a break, an hour lunch break. I don't usually eat because I don't want nothing. I don't want to drive anywhere. Yeah. I put my head down. And I fell asleep, and I couldn't wake up. I, I could hear everything going around me. They were uh-huh. presenting. They were doing some shit, and this dude was talking. And I remember in my sleep. Again, I was correlating it to my dreams until I finally woke up. I remember I was at the, at the mall yeah. with um, with my friend, and some I think some somebody was trying to talk to my friend. I'm like, bro, I just want, I'm trying to dip, bro. Like he's, he's fucking yapping right now about bullshit. And I wake up. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm in class, and it's this nigga talking in front of me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. I can't wake up. Bro, I got to wake myself up somehow. Bro, I got to wake up. I'm just sitting there like, well, in real, real time, I'm like this, but in my dream, I'm fucking, I'm tweaking. I'm trying to wake myself up. And then I ended up waking myself up. No, I ain't gonna lie. That's what happens pretty frequently. It really does. You might have something like, maybe, I think, you know, it might be all the stress you'd be on, bro. That'd be giving you this dream. I, yeah. You know, it might be either stress because, or you get how anxious you'd be. Yeah, I know. Because like, (laughs) I mean, I can't do anything about it. I'm used to it. Like hearing laughter is actually kind of nuts. I'll be scared. Like I have, I mean, I've had sleep paralysis where I have, I've been, haven't been able to like, like move, but my body, I felt my body levitate up. See, you're nuts. Okay. Mine's just my my brain's just doing sensory shit. Nah, but levitating is fucking wild. No, like I, like I, (laughs) (laughs) nigga David Blaine. Nah, bro, I had a like I think I, I told this on the pod before, but I had a dream. Where Jay was playing around, and Jay don't Jay knows I don't like that um that Bloody Mary Candyman stuff. She be mm-hmm. she used to say it like randomly. She like she go to a mirror and say Bloody Mary, and I used to want I grab her and then like I cover her mouth and be like Yo stop please because I don't like that. I remember ever since I was a kid I believed in all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't like none of that. None of them curses, nothing. So I remember <laughs> in my dream, she went into the I had a, I used to have a mirror right here before the pocket. I had a mirror right here. She went up there. She's like Yo Darius, watch this Candyman Candyman. I was like Jay. <laughs> Don't you finish that. Stop playing. And I, it's like I couldn't run to get her. She said, why? Candyman. And then she said it. And as she said it, I'm running. I said, no. Bro, stops. It goes black. I'm like, what happened? I'm like, did I die? Like, no, no. I hear Candyman. And then, like, I felt my body tense up. and went like this. Like, shh. like, I went like this. And then I hear a ringing in my ear. And then, like, you know, a vortex. It, like, yeah. swirls. I felt like, like my body was going like that. Like, I was, like, getting sucked into, like, a wormhole or something and then i remember i was laying down and like i couldn't get up like i was just laying down like this and then i just remember just feeling going like this i'm like oh nah jay just killed me bro jay i'm literally dead right now and i was like yeah that was a sk- that was probably one of the most scariest ones i've seen i don't know if i talked about it. i probably talked about it in the pod but <laughs> that one with the laughter is kind of sick bro that's scary imagine, imagine i mean it happens because i mean like you know so does that does that make you believe in ghosts bro no 
You don't think so? You think that's just like in your mind making up stuff? Yeah, no, it's one hundred percent my brain just doing what it wants. Um, I uh, again, I won't believe it until I see it. I don't want to feel stupid enough to believe that there, it's not a possibility. But again, yeah. I just haven't seen it, so like I can't say it's true. I, like I that, did I mean. sit down on my couch, so I've been home alone for the past couple of days because my uh, grandparents are on vacation. Uh huh. Um, it's a little bit eerie. And I, yeah, again, you, I, I haven't really been wanting to game too much recently. You do again, live I've been, in a quiet neighborhood. Yeah, I've been, I've been, whatever. My brain's crazy right now. But um, yeah, that's so I've been have. playing games. So I decided to sit on the couch to go on my phone. The, I shit you not. The minute I sat on my couch, I heard creaking upstairs like someone was walking. Immediately said, "All right," and I went downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I went straight to my room. I said, "Okay, well." So I don't know what the fuck that was, but could just be you know the pipes the, the, ventil- pi- the, ven- the, pi- the ventilation system but who knows right? that's hey that's what i'm saying also you know what the crazy part is the oh, dude, here's the problem bro literally i don't know why she disclosed this information to me so i i went up to my grandma's room yeah right i was going to her bathroom to grab some shit uh-huh. and i turned on the tv because i wanted to like bump music while i was doing whatever i was doing i think i was shaving or some shit yeah she goes you know what's crazy this this tv just turns on by itself sometimes like i'll wake up in the middle of the night and the tv's on mm. in her bathroom i said Why'd you just tell me that? I don't need to know this. <laughs> I was like, I really don't need to know I'm that. So it's, it's a possibility that there might be a ghost there. I don't know, I'm but t- I highly doubt it. Highly. T- yo, I've been saying, yo, I've been saying this for all all these years on the pod, but I think there's, I don't know if there's a ghost in my crib or there's a little troll because there's always things in my he house has that, gnomes. No, bro, <laughs> I promise you, there's always things in my crib that end up missing. Like this, my mom believes this too. So my mom, right, and this this happened le- recently, right? So I'm I'm doing laundry, right? So I, I was doing Jay's laundry because her laundry machine messed up. So I did her laundry. I took it all out. Everything was good. My mom calls me. She, my mom wakes me up in the, or she calls me or something. She's like, Darius, did you put, you know, the little um detergent beads, like the little detergent washer beads, like you, like you pour it out. Pods, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Not, ta- not the little ones. It's like actual beads. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah it looks yeah. like little balls. She was like, you know, you're not so, she's like, Darius, you know, you're not supposed to put that where the uh, fabric softener is. Right. I was like, I didn't touch that. Like, I don't, I don't touch none of that stuff. I only use the regular soap. This, that. I don't use that new stuff. She was like. She's like, really? I was like, yeah, why? She's like, because I found some in the, I found like a bunch, like somebody poured some in the little, like in the middle of the washing machine. And she was like, and she was like, I didn't do it. Your dad didn't do it. And your sister don't wash, wash clothes. I was like, mom, I promise you, I did not put that in there. I did not touch it. So I don't know who put that in there. It was <laughs> not me. I promise. I, I, I don't know who it is. You're sleepwalking. Nah, bro. And there was, my mom has so many stories about, freaking here yo my mom the one story my mom has i told this on the pod but i haven't told in a while that um when i was a kid and I, when we first moved here i was probably like six six or seven yeah. and i used to you know this hallway right here yeah. i used to run up and down the hallway all the time you know how kids do one time my mom heard me run up and down the hallway she's like dara it's like later she's like dara stop running up and down the hallway i come out to her bathroom i'm like what you talking about i'm right here she was like closed the door and went right to sleep <laughs> and then another time Another time that happened, uh, it was my sister, my sister, when my sister was born, that's when we moved into his crib. So she was like a baby. Mm-hmm. And it was me, my mom, and my sister in the house. My dad went to work. And my mom was like, yo, you know where Libby Bottle at? I was like, nah, I don't know where it's at. And she was like, I can't find it, bro. That thing was in the middle of the basement. Come on, bro. My mom had did, did not go in the basement. I don't know. I didn't go in the basement. We just moved here. Mm. And it was sitting, literally, as soon as you walk into my basement, it was sitting right in the middle. Mm. So I'm like... I don't know. I feel like it's a friendly ghost, but I be yo, I be waiting. We gotta do more haunted shit, bro. I gotta see something. Man. Ooh, don't worry, bro. I gotta see something, man. I really do. I got a good one. I got. And what good. I do, just let y'all know, I'm I'm pussy. I'm gonna be scared. <laughs> I didn't say I wasn't scared. I just don't think they're real, so I can't be scared yet. Uh, I got a good one, bro. We might go into a crib. Hell no, yeah. Uh, prison. Stay tuned for that this month, people. Hell we got yeah, no more haunted vlogs. Always this is Jason's back. Yes, sir. We got bread. We got the we got the dream team coming. We, we got to do more. We'll talk about it after. We got to do more shit, bro. Yes, sir. First team all crash out is gonna be in the freaking <laughs> in the penitentiaries, bro. But uh, I got another story I want to talk to you about because um this 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 whole pot is about movies just because the Oscars and I was I was mm-hmm. um re- uh, not reading I was watching a video the other day about uh Bruce Lee and supposedly Bruce Lee had like a family curse with like his entire oh, yeah because his son died right mm-hmm. with the bullet you you heard about all that yeah. Shit? So like I think what it was going on was that like when Bruce Lee was born, his family felt like they had a curse that either somebody was out to get him or something was out to get him. Either it was a spirit or like people was out to get him, and it was only for the male people in his family. 
So they always told him that when he was little. Like there was like, and he even said that when he was young, he always felt like something was watching him mm. or something was just like creeping, like lurking, stalking him. And he didn't know what it was. Even he predicted that he wasn't going to live to like half his father's age. <laughs> like when he died, his dad died at 64. And he died at 32 mm. to a, a allergy, allergy accident. Like he ate something that he was allergic to and died, mm. which is very weird. That's very weird at the age of 32. Mm-hmm. And people, people thought it was the triads. You know, the tri- Chinese that, triads. The Chinese yeah. triads was all out to get him, which could be the case because then his son, and then he also uh, predicted his son was going to die at an early age. Like he said his son was going to die at 28. And that's when he did that movie, The the Crow. Yeah, and then he shot. died from a stray bullet. from a. But like, what are the odds that there's an actual bullet in a prop gun? So maybe a lot of people think he was also set up. Mm-hmm. But they don't know who it was. They might have been just... Some the the something spirit that was out to get him, and maybe it was just straight bad luck. And it was like they, f- I think the family thought that it was just like something was just out to stop the family bloodline. That's why they only go for the males because he had a daughter, and the daughter lived, and the daughter had another daughter. Like she don't have no sons, mm. so I guess that was the end of the bloodline right there. So I, now, what's gonna happen when her daughter has a kid and it's a boy? But it's no, they're not, they're not Lee's no more. Oh, okay, because she married another guy. Oh. So the family bloodline's already done. So maybe it's all over. That's what I'm saying. Because I ain't gonna lie, I never knew how Bruce Lee died until like I looked into it. I I I didn't tell right now. Bro, he died from a freaking like out. Like imagine like you was allergic to peanuts and somebody gave you some peanuts. That's how he died. That's stupid as fuck. It's crazy. That's a terrible way to die. Especially somebody like Bruce Lee, how you die like that. Mm -hmm. But it's like it was a whole it was a they said it was a freak accident. But it's like my ass. People think, you know, the way he was coming up, he was coming up as like and it was like right before his big movie that he was supposed to like his blockbuster movie. He was like, doing his big one. Mm-hmm. Right before. He and vibing. <laughs> vibing. Niggas is sick. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it was something having to do with the whole uh, triads and shit like that. Because I ain't gonna lie, them niggas is crazy. Yeah, brother, the mafia of China. Bro, what's what? What do you think is more scary, mafias or gangs? Mafias. Bro. <laughs> Those niggas don't care. Do you have American mafias or is that like the Italian? The Italian. Mobs? The Italians. I believe it would be the Italian. Um. Neo Nazis, maybe. No, 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 <laughs> but no. no. Like, oh, not. Oh, but like, beca- uh, yeah. Not nah, low key because I think I remember Tyrone was telling me about some shit called the Machine, and it was like basically like racism in the South, but it's like, it's it has to deal with like fraternities and like racism and like polit uh, p- politicians. So it's like they um, they're all it's like a whole secret society where they try to keep everything segregated in the South. Like in Alabama. So it's like, that's why, like, the people in office, they're all a part of the machine. And, like, they do, they make decisions so everything is still, like, not not racist, but it's like the hidden racism. <laughs> like, they'll have, like, like, you know, maybe certain cops be a little racist, they'll hire certain cops, or maybe they'll have, like, an all white section. Mm. And they'll have, like, like, you know, in, like, Alabama, there's, like, a little, like, all the sundown towns and shit. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, if, like, if we're trying to stop racism, like, niggas will, like, start, like, you know, cracking down on shit. But, like, th- supposedly the, the machine is not letting it happen. Because it's some... Of it, hey, I don't know. It's a... I remember... I think they made a documentary about it. Or like, I, like, I'm telling you, like, all the fraternities down there, like, all the little Kappa Sigma, whatever the mm-hmm. hells, they all know supposedly know about it. Because, like, the people who are in the machine used to be part of their fraternities and shit. So, I don't know, bro. Them, I don't like them politicians. I don't like politics in general. Mm-hmm. But that shit creep me out, bro. But, um, ooh, what other questions I got? Oh, I got another question. So, rate these movies based on your likelihood of survival. So, gotcha. one, one is that you're not going to survive. Ten is that I am the, the king of this movie. I'm main character. Mm-hmm. So, and if you didn't, if you didn't have a, if you never watched some of these movies, then I'll let you know about, gotcha. about it. But most of them is like pretty standard. So, Friday the 13th. What he, is got, your- he got did up by a boxer, bro. That boxer was getting... You've, you ever seen that shit? Jason goes to New York? Yeah. <laughs> he was piecing the fuck out of him, but I'm not a boxer. So like <laughs> five. It's it's a good 50-50 if it's I good live Good 50-50? Yeah, if I'm with the main character, I might I might live. Mm. So what is your what is your tactics going into that? Um, I actually haven't seen a lot of the Friday the 13th movies. I've only seen the first one. So I honestly don't know what he's weak to. I think he'd be lit on fire, right? Either that or drowning. Or holy, well, something he, with water. He died by drowning. Yeah, he died by drowning. Um... Yeah, I think I think I could if I know he's coming after me, mm-hmm. I could set up a fire trap. Okay, but it's a fifty-fifty whether it works or not. I don't really know that. Okay. Know that. I don't know his body. Do you but, really know how to make traps? 
Like if you can like if I give you like a couple of shit like some supplies to make a trap, you think you can make a make a trap for real? Yeah, no, I mean I'm pretty good at troubleshooting shit and figuring shit out. So yeah, I could probably figure something out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Probably. Okay. All right. Um, bird box. <sighs> I don't know because I use my eyes for everything. Yeah, I. Um, that was a crazy movie. I don't think I'm surviving. <clears throat> I don't. I want to say I'm the main character because I'm not going out to get supplies. Be real. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit blind. You go be those niggas just waiting in the crib yeah, for the food. Like, Man, she needs to hurry up. <laughs> so I'd say I get like seven. Seven? Yeah. Wow. I think I could do. It. I could definitely survive. If I need to go get food, maybe I could. But so that means you gotta stay in the crib forever. Create an ecosystem in the house. Mm. Find a house. Oh, I don't know how to find a house with a green. How, fuck, I Where don't know. Where the fuck are you gonna he, find something? Here's the house. issue, bro. Is how the fuck are you even finding a house if you need to relocate for whatever your reasons? And how are you gonna know where to board up the windows? How are you exactly. gonna like? What are you gonna do? I mean, honestly, it's just like you just can't let, you just can't see out on the outside. Yeah. So as long as you have everything boarded up, like windows and doors, you're good. But like, the, just the fact that. First of all, I'm too curious. <laughs> My dumb ass is gonna be like, "Hey man, you know, hold what on. is that? Let me see. Let me let me see this shit for real, bro. Like, are yeah. y'all really are y'all faking it? Come on, let me check this shit out. Yeah. And, I'm, and that's when I open them blinds. That's when everybody in that house is gonna die. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. That's when I I crash out. But <laughs> I think I'll give myself like a three because just the fact that that's that's terrible. I, like, yeah, I wouldn't even want to live in that world. I don't. That's know. what I'm saying. I wouldn't want to live. I wouldn't want to live in that shit. I would just you know fuck it. Let me see. Let's see what these people are gonna see. Uh, now now I'm about to go into like a freaking abyss. Okay. Well, I give that a three. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lone Survivor. Have you ever watched Lone Survivor? I'm dead as fuck. <laughs> bro, that movie's insane because that shit really happened, bro. Yes. The I, dude who lived is fucking crazy and has insane willpower, he's bro. He's a cool dude, One too. like a motherfucker. I'm dead like shit. See, that's the shit like, bro, there's no fucking way, man. Those mm-hmm. niggas 1v4. Or I mean, 4v, 4v fucking like... 400. Yeah. No, those niggas are fucking crazy, man. And they was... You seen when they was falling down the hills? Yeah, okay, man. He really did that? That's wild, bro. And like at the end of like honestly, they should have they should have kept them kids tied up, bro. Yeah, not gonna lie, should have kept them t- kids tied up. Who w- did the one that survived? Did he make the decision to not kill him? I don't think he was the team leader. No, I don't think the dude who survived was the team leader. He was the medic. Yeah, he was the medic guy. But I don't know. I don't because I remember he was fighting with the team leader because the team leader wanted to like. No, no, no. This is what happened. This is what happened in the movie. I don't know if this is what happened in real life. He was like the team leader was like, yo. All right, we gonna leave him up here, or we're gonna kill him. Kill him. He's like, bro, they're kids. I'm not trying to kill no kids. He's like, not. Nah. He's like, all right, bro. What do you want to do? Because if they run down there and call the Taliban, we're not gonna have because they their their yeah. comms was fucked up. He was like, bro, I'm not killing no kids. He was like, all right, bro, let them go. I would have left them there, and just been like, fuck it, bro. If y'all die from the wolves, y'all go ahead. I'm not, bro. Four hundred. Being yo. humane isn't a thing in war, bro. Exactly, bro. War is inhumane in itself. You see what the Japanese did to us? Come on, bro. They ain't it. Nigga, what? No mercy. Mm-mm. No mercy, bro. All right. Um, 127 hours. Have you watched that movie? You know the rocks or the guy's arm stuck between the rocks? Yep. Yeah, I'm not making it. <laughs> you, I'm not making it. You're not going to cut your arm off? <sighs> I don't think I'm doing that. Unless, like, I can't, I literally can't feel my arm and it's like that done up, then maybe. But. If like just the thought of that, oh my god, that must yeah, no. suck, dude. No, I can't do it, bro. That's like another level of like willpower and just like mental strength, like out the ass. I don't think so I I'd got say four. Four, okay. There's like that's a very good small chance I'm able to fucking do that. I say three. I say three. Um, and the last one is Maze Runner. Nine. Okay, now let me let me let me tell you about the you know about the Maze Runner. Yeah. So you're in you talking about the first one or like because the second one they don't really do Maze Running shit too. The second much. one they're in the real world with zombies. Trials, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll say the first one. Yeah, I got right, nine. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If it was the first one, I'll go like eight, nine, just because like. Would you be a runner though? If I'm a runner, I'm dead. Hell yeah. Well, you're crazy. I'm dead. Fuck yeah, bro. That shit looks sick. I mean, yeah, it's it is sick. As fuck. It is sick. But nigga, memorizing the whole labyrinth. And like, like you forget one thing, you done. You yeah. forget one left turn, you it's over. But I, the thrill of it would be so, dude. I mean, go stir crazy in the fucking walls. What do they do all day? I mean, farm. Boring as fuck. I'd want to be a runner, and I think I could do really well as a runner. To be I, honest, I, that's not me being a good test goal. Like, you, I genuinely think I could do well as a runner. Honestly, me, I think I'll probably do well too. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty good with this. I have a good sense of direction. I'm not gonna lie. 
I have a pretty like I remember we was in Mexico with my family and I remember you know I don't know if you ever you ever been to like the little uh flea markets and stuff. I've like, never been to Mexico, but I know if you wear Goku merch, you're good with the cartel. <laughs> no, but I mean like uh like you know a flea market in general, yeah. how they have like booths and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So like everything looks the same. So I remember I went to this one booth and I wanted this one of this chain, but my mom was like, "We'll come back and get it." Being like, "Cause Wild you're never gonna like find shit. it," you know, "Cause you're never gonna yeah. find it." She's like, "Okay, when we when we're done eating, you can come buy it, bro." When we're done eating, I found it. I literally went the same direction, and was able to find it. And my mom looked at me, I was like, "Yeah, you're weird," <laughs> but I think I'll I think I'll be good as that. But I think the the pressure of me trying to get back is gonna fuck with my mind. Nah, I'm just gonna bro. overthink too much. Chilling. So I'm 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 cool off that. Uh, I'm cool off that, bro. But um, oh, I got another question that we could talk about. <laughs> so. <laughs> We I have a non comic book comic book heroes versus Marvel heroes. Okay. Which which team will win? So the team one is Danny Phantom, Ben Ten, Aang, and Poe from Kung Fu Panda, versus Spider Man, Iron Man, Thor, and Hulk. Who's winning? Gigi. Who's winning? Poe's out out of the count immediately. Uh huh. He's the Dragon who, Warrior who, though. But who, we can who's keep... the first one? Danny Phantom. Cooked. Hold on, hold on. Let's think about it now. That man, Danny Phantom, could, he's really cool, but he can control people's bodies. Iron Man's cooking him. I feel like, bro, and that matchup, Iron Man's cooking now. Ben Ten again. I don't like Ben Ten. I think he's lame as fuck. I always thought he's lame. Yeah, he hates um, Ben Ten he's so, so much. Mid. I don't know why, but I heard he has like some crazy god altering fucking alien form. Yeah, and then Aang's obviously a bender of all the elements. Yes, but even then, I think Spider Man cooks. No. All right, look. This is what I think. I I think that people are underestimating the non Marvel characters because one, Danny Phantom could go in and freaking take over people's bodies. If he goes into the Hulk, it's done. There has to be. A, here's the thing: where we have no power scaling. Can like again, what at what cost? Because when you take over someone's body, right, you have to control their head and yeah. mind. I would bro, think he I, could, the the Hulk's fucking smart nowadays. That nigga's mind isn't so easily taken over. Bro, that nigga is fucking bro. That that booty ass Hulk, bro. If you <laughs> talking about a real Hulk, where the nigga is just pure rage, I feel like that nigga Danny. He and could go plus, crazy. These guys are kids. But the thing is, just having the just imagine if I said they were old, if they was twenty five, they're going stupid. Okay, but they're like, all kids. What's Poe do? <laughs> now Poe's Poe's just there just for as a filler. I'm not gonna lie. Poe's going to get carried. I'm trying to think. Because, like, again, I don't think Aang's hanging. Aang can hang with Spider-Man. I don't think he hangs with Spider-Man. Man. Bro, this man is a kid. Cool, but, He's like, 12. Spider-Man if he, if is talk, also a kid. Bro, Avatar State Aang. <clears throat> is, again, Spider-Man's really him, though. Like, really, really him. Like, okay, he's really he's him. Beat, he's but, beating electric. He's beating water. He's beating fire. But or, not or all. Or be doing stuff. I'm like, I not don't. Not all together, though. Even then, bro. He's like insanely Avatar ridiculous. Spider Man's so ridiculously overpowered, bro. Bro, he's over. Bro, if honestly, if these guys had comic books like the non Marvel things, they'll be too OP. If you want, if they grow it up, they're all kids, bro. The problem is your power scaling off the world that they're in. Aang's world isn't too strong. Neither's uh, Danny Phantom. I mean, neither's Ben Ten. If you put Aang in the world of Spider Man, is he gonna have really a a problem? Not until he runs into Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man is the fucking truth, bro. Bro, that nigga ain't could defeat all the Spider-Man's villains. If we're going to be honest. Let me lock in. Think about it. Who is... Who's... Venom. <laughs> Carnage. <laughs> what? He could beat Carnage. Are you serious? No. Bro, what? Why not? Bro, the nigga could control all the elements. And what happens if a symbiote gets on him? Bro. Avatar right. State. Shh. Shake that shit off, nigga. The fuck he's not. Shake that shit off, nigga. He will nigga. be controlled by the symbiote so fast. All right, let's talk about what about Ben Ten. I don't, I don't know his, I don't know his feats. He's lame. So I, he just hates on Ben. 10 I don't know what his because he has like insane uh, forms or something. But even then, okay. Same, bro. Fuck that nigga. I feel like, I feel like y'all people are sleeping on him. If Danny, all Danny Phantom needs to do is control the Hulk. As long as he control the Hulk, you were good. Freaking Poe. Poe is gonna get fucked up, but he's he can cooked immediately. Poe could Poe could keep up with. He's not gonna keep up with the other two. First Aang, of all, Thor's there. Yeah, nigga. If Thor or if he hits Aang or Ben Ten, I don't know if they're lasting, bro. Ben, with the hammer, they're getting fucking flung across the universe. The hammer's crazy, ayo. But <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just bro. Ben Ten literally has an alien that is a god. That's what. That's the only cheese. That's what I'm saying. That's it's, what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Like, that's what I'm saying. He's literally a universe in a body. 
Okay, that's kind of insane. Like, that's what I'm well, saying. Like, then, it's very... Che- like, they can't make these guys into comic characters because it's going to be too OP. At that point, then Ben 10 wins. But, like... I'm saying... But there is limits. But where's the limits on Thor? There's, like, that's why... All these comic book heroes, they got no limits, for real. Yeah. But the, they put limits on these guys. But if they had no limits, they're washing them, bro. Aang... If Aang is... If they're all the same age, we'll say 19, 20, they're washing them. Ben is 10 years old. He's a 10-year-old. Mid as fuck. Oh, my God. Aang is 12. Danny Phantom is 13. Aang's the coolest dude there. He is the coolest dude there. He is. I still think Marvel wins. You think so? I don't think so. I think... I honestly think that... If it... I honestly think that they're going to they're gonna have a problem with these little young niggas, bro. These young, little, young I don't kids. I think it's a bro. wash, but I think Marvel wins at the end of the day. Poe is going to get carried. Poe might be the Poe first one dead. dead already. He's not... Nothing. He's a corpse. No, 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 no. If he catches Iron Man with the skadoosh, it's over. He never seen that. Nigga, he haven't seen that coming. You fucking wish. You wish. <laughs> he ain't never seen that before. Honestly, what's stopping all of them from being vaporized? <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, turn into dust. What stop? Yo, Danny Phantom is like he can go invisible, so he can just phase right through him. They're o- they're really OP. I'm trying to tell you, they're really OP. They just they just get they're just kids, so it's not that bad. So they don't really get as much rec- I think recognition. You're overhyping them, bro. I I'm think, not. I, think I feel like people. Wins. I feel like you're underestimating them, bro. Maybe a little bit. Marvel still wins. All right. All right. Yeah. Do you think the event... I, w- I I seen this question the other day. They said the Avengers versus a billion lions. Who's winning? The billion lions. Ooh, you're a smart man. You're a smart... You know how much a billion lions is, bro? I'm saying. <laughs> like, niggas was saying the... All right. Now, how about... I, I asked Fritz this. How about the Justice League? Is it different? No. You think so still? Even with Superman? Damn. Superman is fucking crazy. I'm saying. But I mean, at any point, if, uh, too much of anything will overcome anything. I'm saying. Batman dead. Yeah. Batman dead after an hour. It Wonder all, Woman I guess, dead. I guess situation dictates all depends on where they are, where the lions are coming from. But any too much of anything, you're fucking cooked. A billion lions is a yeah. lot. That's a lot of fucking lions. You could kill a hundred by yourself, you still got nine. Yeah, low key, Superman carries the fuck out of the Justice League. Literally, it's only him and who else? Who else is there? Uh, the Flash. The Flash. It's just them two. Everybody else is dead. Aquaman dead. Aquaman is so <laughs> dead. Aquaman's dying. Um, uh, Green Lantern's dying. Martian Manhunter is gonna die within the first twenty minutes. Mm. Do you know about Martian Manhunter for real? I He's mean, only weak to fire. He is only weak to He's fire. He's fucking insane. But. You, I feel like he's gonna get overwhelmed. Could possibly. I feel happen. like he can get overwhelmed with a billion lines. But technically, that dude's that dude's insane. He is. It's crazy. He has his weakness is fire. How about yeah. um? How about X Men? Is there anybody that really even OP in the X Men? I mean, can can Charles Xavier's mind power go to animals? I don't think so. I have no idea. I doubt it. That would be too crazy. I don't, I think it's only like humans. There's not really too, too many overpowered X Men, really. Uh, off the top of my head. Mm. You yeah, know, I think they're cooked. But there's a lot of fucking X Men. The problem. That's there's, a there's a lot of, of motherfuckers. Them. But I feel like not even all of them is gonna really go up against a billion lions for real. Mm-hmm. Like that would. Oh my god, they're gonna get cooked. They're gonna get eaten alive, bro. <laughs> Freaking Cyclops is done. The beast. The beast is done in like five minutes. Um, Phoenix. Nah, Phoenix might actually. Phoenix eat. is insane. You know what? She might actually. Storm just, could go crazy. She might. Whoever could fly, Loki yeah, got that's it. Like, <laughs> Whoever could fly her? could just, But I don't know if they're going to get tired. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, bro. But I remember I seen this the other day. They was talking about Pokemon and shit. But. All right, so a billion lines are the sun. A billion lines or the sun? Two trillion lines are the sun. It's the sun, right? It got to be the sun, right? I don't know. I'm kidding. I really don't know. Because I, well, I would have to do a mass and like. Depending on how close they get, I don't know if they could ever get that close to be honest. But let's say theoretically they did, it would fuck up the mass of the sun and it could explode. I think I don't, I don't, I don't know shit about this. I'm just theorizing. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I could be talking out my crazy ass right now. But wow, what would win, a lion or a stick? A lion or a stick? Yeah. What stick are we talking about? Talking a about branch spear? of a tree. Um, I would hope the lion it wins. Or does the lion have autism and he think loses? about it? Uh-huh. It breaks the stick. Now there's two sticks. Who's really winning? Oh, cause oh, cause you know he can never die. Technically, because the, the stick line can never die. And lose. Mm. Think about it. Oh, hold on, you're actually cooking. Look, 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 look. Because if a lion goes up against a stick, he breaks the stick. He goes off and thinks he won, but then he dies. 
the stick is still alive. Wow. I'm telling you, bro, the stick's underrated. Wow. You really that you really just theorized an object, bro. Yeah. We should make theories. You got to think about this thing. That's crazy. This is cereal what? soup. Cereal soup? Mm. We'll classify soup as soup. Something watery. Cereal soup. Or something watery that's hot. Cereal milk because it's soup. So, all right. I like I like where we're going with this because what is iced tea class? What is iced tea? Tea with ice in it. Tea with ice in it, right? So do you count that as a juice or tea? That's a tea. It's tea. Yeah. So, so like gypsum tea and, and uh, Arizona is the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm. I thought I was gonna. Absolutely, th- bro. I mean, let's just look the fruit punch one, and then, then it's juice. So you don't classify iced tea as juice? No. So you say it's a tea? It's absolutely a tea. Mmm. Mmm. Nigga, do you know what juices are? Typically fruit. from fruits. So how the fuck would iced tea be juice? I mean, <laughs> what, what what tea fruit are you squeezing to make tea? I mean, the tea bag. My nigga. Okay, now, 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 now. So, you know how you make iced tea is mm. different than how you make tea. I don't know that. I don't like iced tea, but go ahead. Because, you know, when you make iced tea, you know you get the little powdered stuff and you put it in there? Yeah. So, is that the same thing as what's in a tea bag? Probably. I would like to imagine. Or I don't isn't know. it like beans? <laughs> no, I think it's like herbs. Something I don't fucking know. Fuck tea is gross. It's so disgusting. You don't like? Do you like coffee? I actually don't. So like I've tried coffee a bunch of times. I like the the cold iced coffees. They're not bad. The hot coffee drinking. I don't drink anything hot. Hot drinks is like a vile. Like what are you doing? You don't like hot cocoa? What are you drinking hot? What are you shoveling hot shit down your throat for? Unless it's food. I mean, if it's cold, it's making me thirsty. When you're when you're cold, you don't want no hot cocoa. No. What you get? I don't. But so you know, so you really never like hot. You just don't like nothing hot. No, not as of right now. Wow! Like even when you was younger, did you drink no. hot cocoa? Thanks. So he used to judge Jakai when he drank hot cocoa in the summertime. Jakai's a fucking freak on all levels. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, Jakai. You you sick for that? But I, I'm I'm here with you because I did that before. He's a freak on all levels. You just love sweat. Nigga used to put peanuts on a plate and eat it. <laughs> I'm not joking. For dinner, like real shit. Yeah. <laughs> I love Jakai, bro. <laughs> he's, he's I love Jakai, bro. The most not normal person I've ever met in my life. Yeah, he's really he's the real no regulars, bro. I ain't gonna yeah, lie, Jakai's the, the real no regulars, bro. The not most regular person I've ever met in my fucking life. If y'all if y'all know who Jakai is, y'all are the real ones. Put it in the comments down below. Justice bro. for Bash. Why justice for Bash? Let me tell y'all something about theirs. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna get slammed. Bash hasn't been here for fucking knows how long. I don't know the reasons. I don't know the reasons. I don't care. Yeah, it's funnier that he's not here. But Bash, <laughs> I asked the other day on Twitch. I said, "Hey, when's Bash coming back?" He said, mm, "27 episodes." I cap. I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> I was literally kidding. Is it just me or did no regulars fall off ever since I stopped coming? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this nigga's sick, bro. I'm so, yo. I'm so mad, bro. I had a freaking gauntlet for you. A whole would you rather call it? But I literally, I forgot to come up with questions. No worries, bro. We have plenty more. Again, if anybody calls out, I'm here. I'm looking for OT. You ah, nigga to... say he wants the overtime. <laughs> I'm looking for OT, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to give back. All right, all right. Make I got you. This time. I got you. But I got one last question before we end the pod, bro. So you must you must win one of these game shows to win the grand prize of five hundred million dollars. Which one are you trying to play? Naked and afraid, Ninja Warrior or Jeopardy? Ninja Warrior. No, you're not winning that. All the way through? Yes. How much time do I have to train? Uh, I give you a month. Fuck. I'll give you a month. Fuck. Um, nah, I'm cooked. Shit. I'm Maybe. doing naked and afraid. High I key. can do the first thing in Ninja Warrior. Do that last thing. I don't know if they. I don't know what they do nowadays. But you just have to climb this fucking rope. Yeah. That was so fucking that was large. Like 50 it was feet in insane, air. bro. And I suck at rope. I mean, you could. Cl- How high can you climb a rope for real? Because I mean, you. I've in the never. Military. I've never like. Again, it's always limited by however long. Yeah, yeah. I want to say the highest I've ever climbed is like 20, 15 feet. I, I don't really know measurement of feet. But, yeah. Maybe like taller than this house for sure. But, I mean, when we went to the, the Ninja Warrior shit from our beat birthday. Like, I wasn't there. Oh, you wasn't there for that? I wasn't able to make it. I think oh, I'd, I'd work. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, I was working the second shift. You would have loved that I shit, know. Um, I, was like, I, was going I was pissed. I wanted to meet y'all there, but it was in New York, and I'm like, I'm not driving yeah. New York. We'll go again. We'll go again. Yeah, no. Maybe um, we'll vlog that day. So, dude, I'm 
I was actually going to ask that, dude, if you, because we were watching episodes, if you and Jay went uh, naked and afraid, how long would y'all make it? How long will we make it? Yeah. Because I think, I think that the, the, what you're supposed to do is 21 days. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I think me and Jay will actually finish it because we're so competitive. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, Jay, we not making it? $500 million. I think my competitive would begin, but. Well, if she right see. Nah, if she, if she get a couple bugs on her though, she might get. Bro, like I don't like, bro. When you sleep at night, bugs everywhere. It's freezing. All right. Um. Yeah. So naked and afraid, bro. Me and I think I can. This thing is so so naked and afraid, right, guys? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nah, if y'all the camera cut off. So what I, what I was saying is, me and Jay survived naked and afraid. Twenty one days, just because we're competitive. I feel like we can get through it. Okay, but again, like, bro, at nighttime is, I think, is the worst. Again, the day, well, here's the issue, bro. It's finding food seems to be the issue more times than not. Oh, niggas get hungry? Yeah, they get really fucking hungry. Yeah. They'll, they'll end up being, like, berries and shit. But, like, yeah. ultimately, you have to get, like, protein, like, meat, like, yeah. snake or, like, fish. Where do they be at? Like, do they say, like, what part? Yes, yeah, so sometimes, mainly it's been, like, in the jungle, sometimes they go to the desert. Yeah. But there's one, I we just, I don't know how recent it is, but it was the first time they went to somewhere, bro, they went to Alaska. <laughs> that shit was fucking crazy, Wait, bro. Wait, naked in Alaska? Yeah, bro. Yeah, no, you lost me. I'm but not doing they that. They gave them, like, bear wool. Yeah. But it was only covering, like, the top half. Yeah. Bro, it was fuck. I was like, damn, bro, and it didn't get dark. So oh, I don't, it was know, I don't know how they had a sense of time. They killed a hedgehog and they ate a hedgehog. Nah, I don't think. See, if you put us in like Costa Rica, like in the jungles of Costa Rica, I think we can go crazy. Bro, but sleeping at night gets cold, bro. It's loud. The bugs are biting. 21 you. days, though, for 500 million. I got to try, bro. Yeah. Because nah. Jeopardy is deed. I'm not going to. Like, there's there's so much shit that they be. There's yeah, so nah. much random stuff. Uh, unless <coughs> unless I can just like memorize. Like, they tell me like what, like what are the categories and I can just study for that month. That yeah. I get to prepare, then I might be good. But even then, I might freeze up and just like ah, I forgot. Name an animal that starts with the letter Q. Uh, I was whale. Gonna say, I was gonna say Quinnipeg or a quintuple. That was not. That's not. Damn, right. is Winnipeg even spelled with the W or is it with no, the no, Q? No, no, it's Winnipeg. Oh, okay. Quinnipeg, Quinnipiac. <laughs> uh, I think that's the university. No, it was from like a famous movie or some shit. Like maybe like a Bronx Tale or something. Oh I don't remember. shit! No, it's Bron- some New York movie. Nah, but. So you're going to do Ninja Warrior? Yeah, probably Ninja Warrior. I'm okay. cooked everywhere else. I feel like maybe if I... Honestly, maybe I could do Naked and Afraid. Really, if I really want to push myself, but I'd rather just try Ninja Warrior rather than Naked and Afraid. Okay, I'm doing Naked and Afraid just for the fact that I think if I could... That's a little more realistic one I think I could do. If I really push myself and I... I, I feel like I feel like Jay going to want to dip, though. She going to want to... I feel like Jay going to dub it. You got to like, be the rock, bro. You got to hold the dip. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'm just going to be like, just think about the money. Think about the money. $500 million. Them I, niggas was doing it for free. Yeah, they do. That's their hobby. They was doing it for, I just want the throw. If yeah. you won't get the yeah. heck out of here. But as you can see, Darius is only in this for the money, guys. <laughs> he only Dude. wants to do it for, for cash now. Yeah, if you see his famous Jason <laughs> signed his soul. Yeah, all right. Freaking. Like, I remember on that one, that was a one. there was one episode. I think one dude was trying to get freaky, bro. Oh, they get no. He was trying to get freaky. They had to get him out of that there, bro. That was fucking insane. <laughs> that is literally fucking insane. That's that the man, last thing I'm thinking about. Bro, last resort, he's like, bro, I'm cold. And I'm horny. Yeah, that's, that's the sick. thing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'm like insecure, but bro, again, there's two random people more times than not. Yeah, they have families, so it's always a girl and a guy more times than yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. They be cuddling at night, but they're naked. I, that doesn't sit right with me. As a as a boyfriend, yeah. As let's say like, my girl went on the show. Yeah, me neither. I, but, I mean, right with me. but at the it's for survival. Yes. It's for survival. But nigga, what the? Yeah, you guys keep. I come on. I I wouldn't say that's. A, I wouldn't because I'm I'm trying to be better. So I don't think I would crash out, but I'd be like, "Damn, you, it's meat on your yeah, your yeeks right now." Like, yeah, it's nuts to me, but like, I'd be upset. You'd be upset. Yeah, I think I'd be. Upset. Have you Have you seen what's been going on like recently with all the like over social media with that one guy who lost his girl at a concert, the Omelay concert? Yeah. So how how you feel about that? I mean, that's not my girl no more. Fuck. Oh, that's crazy work. I I don't know the full story. All I saw was the video. She was in the crowd. He was like, "Come here," and then she just walked away. Yeah, that's nuts to me. Immediately walked yeah, it's away. Yeah, nuts to me. I don't give a fuck how famous you are, but it's crazy work. I I ain't gonna lie. I feel like, see, they said they said they was together for seven years. I heard that was a lie. They was together for a year and a half. Mm. And but even I'm then, a, I mean, come on. Even bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like, at some point, we have to stop being fans of these normal people. I understand. No, not fan. No, not fans. I mean, like fanboying. <sighs> 
over. Like, it's not that. Like, at the end of the day, they're the same. They a regular dude. She threw away, a, bro. And I, I, with the guy, bro, I felt bad, bro. If I'm him, I'm not. I'm not watching that. Mm, I'm going home. I'm leaving. Yeah, no. Fuck and I'm no. just like, That's you crazy know, work. at the end of the day, like you may like, and she's going all over these podcasts and doing all these things, talking about her. She's not really apologizing. She's just like, she's yeah, like, she's happy. She's up. Fuck her, man. She's not, bro. She's not up. The dude's up. Wow. Bro, the dude went on Kai stream. He never had oh, an Insta- really? he, he never had an Instagram before. He got seventy k followers in a week. He got he had like a freaking uh, he was in a commercial, and I think he's doing like I don't know if he's doing modeling or he's doing something oh, with social fire. media. So That's he's fire. up, but she's trying to do like these little side little podcasts, and she's trying to tell a story. She's like, you know, at the end of the day, like you know, you just want to have fun and like you like you guys don't know my side of the story and things what side that do you have that's what, what i'm saying you just wanted, like to meet someone famous and like you didn't did. have to tweak out like that you didn't nah, have to yeah, go crazy max. like that like it's not like of, of course you want to go up there and you can go sing with the dude but if you're yeah. gonna go dance on him like you freaking kim uh crazy freak, word. yeah no uh, kim like whatever kim k whatever no nah, you're bugging like that's too crazy and then i seen another bro i seen another one the internet has been wild with the crash house lately bro there was a girl and i guess you know the guy do public interviews yeah. So there was like maybe it was like three black guys, three big, three big dudes. They walked up to like these two white girls. Don't worry, you picture up. Yes. <laughs> and she goes like, yeah, I'll pick you up too. If I'm a boy, if I'm crashing out, bro, it's over. It's over. You is not picking up my girl in front of me. And then he looked at him. He said, "Bro, you can get picked up too." It's crazy. Oh work. nah. See, I'm not fighting him though. I'm just walking away, man. What? I'm above getting mad at the dude, bro. I'm, I really am. If my girl's willing to do it, mm. I should kill my girl. Real talk. Yo. I really should. <laughs> we don't do that here. But at the end of like. She was bugging, bro. No, Got- she's fucking out of her mind, bro. Fucking stupid. I would have went to jail that night. I feel Fuck bad. No, I feel bad. There's really women out here in this world doing that to men, bro. I feel so bad, bro. Disgusting shit, bro. Hey, you think- women are fucking heartless. Bro, do women even watch this? If you do, man, fuck you. No, let me not. Say that. <laughs> let me not say that. Some of you are okay. Oh, most Jesse of can you. Move your mic over a little bit, my fault. Some of you are okay. Most of you suck. Absolutely fucking suck. Without a doubt, in my mind. Terrible people. So am I though. So. He we are, I, uh, God bless me with a good one. Shout out to him. But God when? Don't worry. Every- <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God I'm kidding. when? Hey, I just think, bro. At the end of the day, we living in. A, I think it's like, you know, you can only do but so much to people. Like I know, I remember back in the days, people always used to be like, "Yeah, Darius, you always simp for Jay. You always do this, like, just because." Hey, I'm not gonna let him get the shit off. He's always the wrong one to talk about this. He was simping crazy. I wasn't even <laughs> home yet, and I was hearing stories about this nigga. Hey, crazy work. Which I get it. It's cool. Yeah, I'm happy for you. I really am. I'm mm-hmm. jealous of all things. <laughs> but um, he's nah, crazy this, simping. Crazy simping, bro. But crazy simping. In my world, right? If as long as right, you do you do the right thing for the right woman, then it's really not. What's the definition of simping? What's the definition of simping? Jay asks. What Anything is, y'all did together, you're a simp too. It's wait, not like it's not like he could just be the wait. simp. You guys are both simping. I, I need another definition. What is the definition? Um, let's see. Because my definition of simping is like if you do something for a girl that has no interest in you. True. Maybe I it's a like, lack of better words, but you guys were way too like. Just because we was Christ, doing some brother. cool lovey dovey stuff. Like, Jesus Christ, bro! Y'all love each other. I, like relax. I'm talking about like five days in a row with each other crazy work 24 hours with each other crazy work like bro take a break shit like pulling up to events with each other take a break niggas is hated yo like again I wasn't here so I don't really know I've just I've just heard the backlash of things but yeah you know she broke up with me right I've heard. Yeah. For justified reasons though yeah yeah. oh you heard about the story I did I did that was that was (laughs) you I mean I get it man everybody gotta shoot fuck nigga (laughs) <laughs> you gotta read the room sometimes. I didn't, I didn't read the room. It Shout was out like, there, so you tried it. Yeah, it was like a. It was like, what's your favorite color? And then, then that question I came up. <laughs> hey, we come, we came back strong from that, right? I'm happy it worked <laughs> out. I'm happy it worked out. <laughs> that was so bad. That was that was top tier. I was, I was about to be a big fool, but yeah, I feel like if you like like all my fellas that that is watching this pod, if you have a girl, I know a lot of people ask us and stuff about you know girls and things of that nature. If you do something for a girl and they have the same level of interest to you, that's not a sim. But if you do something for her and they don't, then you you tweak it out, brother. You gotta uh, let it go. I don't know, bro. Cause like you gotta think about it, bro. 
if I give a girl flowers and she's like, oh, thank you, and then she gives me something back, like, like okay. not, she don't have to give me nothing back, but, but she's you guys like, are both simp's. Again, I don't, I don't know what the word simp really means, but like, you want, you if you're honeymoon phasing for too long, you need to relax. See, you know why? I, I think we was honeymoon phasing for a for long time. For fucking five years. No, 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 it's no. It's still no. happening. No, <laughs> like, <what do> <laughs> no, it's not. It's because I feel like uh, COVID prolonged it. So, I, and plus, and plus, me and Jay weren't together for the first year of our relationship because she went to school in uh, Baltimore. That's real shit, man. You ever heard of Naked Brothers Band? Yes. Half these motherfuckers don't even know the long oh. distance relationships Bro. won't kill you. Ew. Ooh, I have crazy. A, yo, you know you can't you can't even find that show anywhere. Why? I, can, I I look on YouTube. There's like no like videos Damn, of it. That shit goes crazy. When bro. they was playing, when they was in the in the pool. Yeah, shit goes <sighs> fucking nuts. Y'all don't know about it. Y'all watch big time. Rosalina Rush. was. <laughs> Nigga is sick. But um, but I was, I, a kid, I was a kid. So so that's what I'm saying. Like our first year, we were never together. So when when she finally moved, like so when she moved back. Yeah, now it's lasted four years. <laughs> You know, because mm, it's like did, I almost made a mistake. <laughs> I almost talked about something I shouldn't. Because it's but, like um, because it's like if like imagine you never like say you got a girl you never seen her for like you see her maybe once every four or five months, and then when she moves back because of COVID, now we're together in quarantine for like the next like nine ten months or whatever, and now we're out of quarantine and now that's all we know now we're just like. You know, cool, that lasts about, I'd give it like nine months max. Not even for a nigga like me. But like, <laughs> I don't know, honestly, because once you honestly fight in the right person, I can't say, because like, again, um, obviously I found someone I really, really, really love that's still, you know, you know, but like, mm-hmm. even then I wasn't like that, because maybe it just wasn't the right person for me, you know what I'm saying? See, let, let me let me tell you who the... But like, once you do, I don't see why you wouldn't want to be around them all the time, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like... And but at the end of the day, it's like, at some point, you know, like you know, I like you, like Jason thinks me and Jay's relationship is like the big oh, fairy it's, tale. Oh my it's God. really Turn not on it's, any Disney Channel movie ever. I and try, you're literally watching it unfold <laughs> in front of your eyes. I try my best to make it, you know. This nigga the would hundred percent boombox. He would possibly have thousand percent show up with a boombox outside of her house. I know he would, bro. I've done some. Like, I've done some. Nah, I've I've probably done something different. I probably sent her some some gifts and stuff. But you like, told me he wouldn't show up outside your house with a boombox on rocks at your window, playing your favorite song. Yes, the fuck he played. If you that. said, I mean, I'm would. not gonna lie, she said no. If you would have said that will get you, I would, like I would do that to be funny. I'll do that to be very funny. Be that shit dead serious, boy. <laughs> that shit dead serious. It's like, but you gotta realize, it's like me and Jay go through stuff, but we don't talk about it because I like to keep it like in house. You know what I'm saying? It's very valid. Like I try to keep all the issues that we have in house, and like, and like what I what I also heard is right. What I also heard, like, if you ever need to like you know ask for advice about something, you need to go to a person that's not gonna agree with you. Mm. Well, mm. you know yeah. what I mean? Because at the end of the day, right? You need somebody. You need a relationship is a shared life. I think it just stopped. I heard it. What the hell is going on? Sorry for technical difficulties, people. And now, now we're back. Um. All right. So what like I was saying before, it was like, uh, yeah, like I said, it's like, you know, if you want to solve something, you need to go to somebody that not only understands from both sides, but is like not going to, because I feel like t- telling somebody that they're right is just going to justify like. Maybe they're do what if they're doing the wrong thing? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I feel like somebody that's not gonna be on your side is a good person to talk to outside. Just oh, to get I talk it. to multiple people whenever I have an issue with literally anything. I'll call you, Chris. Yeah, my mom. Yeah, I'll, like I'll call hella people. My boy in New York. I'll call like hella people to be like, I need different perspectives. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. But I got so I got the real definition of a simp. It says someone who does way too much for a person they like. Both of you. What? <laughs> but it's, y'all were doing. Too- it was my birthday. Yeah. I was turning 23. Oh, gosh. Here he goes. Was it 24 or 23? 24. 20, I was turning 24 years old. Jay, now, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, go ahead. I like Waffle House. <laughs> I like Waffle House. Why did these niggas go to Waffle House without me? You wonder why? Because someone wanted to simp. <laughs> he was mad that Jay, Jay. I didn't have room in the car because why? For the nigga's birthday that was happening? <laughs> We couldn't exempt one person. I'm not even saying it has to be her. We couldn't exempt one fucking person. <laughs> Jay, he was mad that we went to Waffle House without him on his birthday. But is that a crazy but, word? Listen to but, the sentence. But 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 we didn't know. I didn't know that he wanted to go to Waffle House. Chris invited Jay because he was like 
he knew that Jay wanted to go to uh, wanted to go to Waffle House and she wanted to do the so the why did Ish thing. need to go? Huh? Was it Fritz? Why the fuck Fritz there? <laughs> Yo, want me to take you to Waffle House, bro? Yeah. You want to go to Waffle House? I do want to go to Waffle House, and I want to go to Mr. Fries, man. Mr. Friesman wasn't even all good, that Stop. good. Y'all got... I ain't gonna... Come on, cuz. Be honest with yourself. I'm honest. You like Mr. Friesman like I that? I love Mr. Friesman. What do you even 20 fries, 30 fries, 40 fries. <laughs> like, 16 ain't enough. Hey, <laughs> shit. What'd you get? Like, what'd you order? Steak with bacon and fries. I wanted to get the egg shit, but every time we go, it's too late in the day. I don't have more eggs. Man. Yo, we need to, you know... It was like it was good, but it was like driving down there for all that. It wasn't like crazy. It was fun. It was fun. Like you know, I love going on road trips, y'all niggas. But like, cause like the first like the first time I had it was in Atlanta, bro. That junk was in the trenches, bro. <laughs> I swear to you, it was downtown Atlanta. I seen a crackhead. First of all, it was a crackhead. He uh, he was like, "Yo, man, what's good, brother?" I was like, "Yo, what's up, man? How you doing?" And, you know, I, I'm 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 I know about the crackheads. I be in New York all the time. So I'm like, he's like, yo, man, you, I got, I, you got a dollar I can spare? You can spare? I'm like, I was like, nah, bro, I'm sorry. I don't got no cash on me, bro. He's like, dang, bro, I really could use that dollar, bro. I swear I could use that dollar. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And then, like, he, like, I locked Jay's car. Jay, you know Jay's car. Jay got a very specific car. Like, mm-hmm. that doesn't look like an uh, actual, like, Barbie movie car. So, like, I'm always, I'm looking at him. And, like, he's, like, stalking the car, like, walking around it. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay. And then I seen a, another homeless guy. He, like, he's, like, laid out. On the like, he's sitting on the ground like this with his legs out, mm-hmm. and he has like his bare ass on the thing, like bare cheeks on the on the pavement. I'm like, yeah, this is crazy work, and like just for this Mr. Fries man, I'm like, I don't know if this is good. Like, I hope it's busting, but that shit it was, was busting. That shit was busting. It was but, um, I, rated from a one to ten. If you Keith Lee, gotta hold your hands like this. Seven know. four seven, respectable, respectable, yeah. respectable. Yo, you know what? Some how do you do you like wings? Do you like working burgers? I do, but I like drums. Drum Fuck sticks? flats. Fuck flat gang. Drum gang. <laughs> drum gang. Yo, there's a. You ever been to the yard house? I actually just went to a yard house the. Uh, I want to say last Saturday or Friday. Which one? The one in the American Dream Mall. Ooh, Dude, that's the what... coolest fucking server I've ever gotten in my life. I'm gonna show you something, but don't say anything right now. I want to talk about it off. Yeah, yeah. Off camera, dude. Look at what this guy did for. <laughs> um. I want to see if this is our, I want to see if this is my server, our, uh, me and Jay server, because me no, and Jay. No, it's not him. It's a picture of what he did. He did this and it was our first. You see what it says? Oh, wow. Yeah, he gets free dessert. Really? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> Time out. That's I think crazy his name work. Was Julian or some shit. He's dude, cool. Light skin dude? dude? Nice no, white guy. Okay, never mind. Very fucking cool. Dang, dude. we should have told him, Jay. And he gave us fucking free beer samples. Because me and Jay went on our freaking thing too. Really? Yeah. I'm mad. He got free dessert. Bro, they had the best wings, bro. <laughs> I didn't get the wings. I think I think he got pasta. Bro, they wings is fire. Really? I bro, I mean like cr- they have these like oh, you don't like spicy shit. But it's like it's like something Korean garlic. Oh, that's just so good. Burgers is busting. The yard house is one of the top tier shits, bro. I'm not gonna lie, chilies honestly has became like top five, bro. Oh, niggas yo, can't miss. I'm not gonna lie, it, it like snuck up on me. I'm bro, they lie. can't miss. Bro, that little uh that platter shit that we what's that shit called? The, I, don't know, I didn't get it. I think I don't even know. What I, got. I got like ribs. But, oh, you got yeah, but like the um, it's like the the smokehouse platter thing where it comes with the rib. That shit is great, bro. But like sometimes you gotta go to the right chilies though, because some chilies could be mid. Mm. But like it's it's honestly up there as like the best like chain restaurant. That shit is fucking gas. That shit better than that junk is better than Applebee's. That mm-hmm. junk is better than Olive Garden. Better Olive, than Fridays. Better than Fridays. Better than um, Red Robin. It's better than all of that. But cheesecake fact, cheesecake factory, low key, it's so expensive, and it's overrated. There's too much stuff in yeah, cheesecake that's what I'm factory. Saying, that's not good, bro. Like I can, honestly, like I, I can, I can go for not having all that stuff on there. Hell yeah! Like the bread is cool. Yeah, cheesecake is fire, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't need all that shit on there, bro. I'm cool. But do you have any other questions and topics you want to talk about, bro? Do you have anything that's on your mind that you want to speak about? Um, Forever hold your peace. Anything in the world, bro? You haven't been here in like six months. I think as people, yeah, we should just grow, right? I've went through a crazy growth transformation, honestly. Yeah, and um, fuck empathy, fuck sympathy. I uh-huh. still, I still don't stand for it, but I understand it now. I can understand uh-huh. how to communicate with another human being, and understand both sides, and just telling somebody. Again, I think it's redundant. Again, this could be a life lesson for everybody. Yeah. Um, mainly with relationships, it's telling someone 
how they feel never works, right? You just need to listen and adapt and treat the situation differently. So, uh-huh. like, let's say you say something to me, and I'm like, bro, I feel like you just fucking hurt my feelings. I really feel like you just hurt my feelings, but you really don't feel that. And, like, by all means, everybody else doesn't think it, but if I feel it and we're in a relationship, you have to just go, okay, I'm sorry. Your yeah, that's just, how, that's just how it is. So, that's a big thing. Um, also, just be happy, you know, do what you have to do to be happy. Um, you know, I made a hard decision recently. Um, but ultimately it's going to be better in the long run. I believe I'm going to be happier that way. So mm-hmm. do what you have to do. Even if it's the harder road, you take it for, um, the longer goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know, I completely agree. I also think like I've, I've watched something the other day. I watched it on TikTok. They said some, a, ri- a rich man was saying, don't stress about the little things that you can't control people. There's a lot of things that you can't control, but there's also a lot of things you can't control. And those are the things that you can't stress about or think about. Like at the end of the day, Things are going to fall where they may, but you can only do what you can to put yourself in a position to either be happy or be the best person you could be. Like, don't try too hard and start falling down a ditch to uh, please other people or to find something that is not there. Like, it's a, there's a lot, it's a broad, it's a broad statement, but I know a lot of people are either like chasing a girl or chasing like a job or chasing like a career, just chasing something that they can't control. But at the end of the day, you can control what you do and that's what you should only focus by. Like, you shouldn't stress about, um, the things that you can't control. Like I've, I've learned that a lot, especially like with doing this podcast and like seeing the growth of like highs, the top of the highs with all the views and the lows, of lows with random drops in the here and there. So I realized that, you know, I can't control all that, but I can only control the content that we put out and, you know, the conversations that we have. And that's all I try to focus about. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. Um, and then I, I think I have two more things. Oh, uh, first things first What's is, up? I think people often in life worry too much about what's the right decision, what's the wrong decision, um, worrying about dying and all this other shit, bro. Just enjoy life while you have it. Like again, Carpe Diem's a corny quote, which means like live in the now. But like yeah, yeah. genuinely, bro, stop worrying about all this other shit, man. Just live right now. Enjoy what you're doing right now because I promise you, it could be gone in a heartbeat. Yeah, man. And then two. That's facts. Um, again, thank all of you guys so much. Genuinely, thank you for reaching out to me for the people that did. Um. I more than happily respond to you guys and more than happily support it. So please reach out. It motivates us and motivates me personally. So, and I hope some of you people that are watching this and that have been messaging me, like, why isn't Jason back and asking me all these <laughs> damn questions. I didn't do nothing to him, even though he did Dude, have a, he did, a cr- bro. even though he did have a crash out rant sounding like something <laughs> happened. It wasn't me. I promise. Now everybody's going to be like, yo, what'd you do to Jason? Bro, no, just- surviving Darius 2027. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you guys might want to tune into that. It's going to be me bash producing it. Wow. And we have a couple other survivors as well. Yo, I had a, yo, I had a question. I think I, somebody asked me a question on the freaking, um, for on the story i posted like a poll but i don't know if i saved that on my phone i think i forgot it Damn. this guy didn't post me on the story by the way i'm telling you he wants to hate me wait what do you mean i what? was i see everybody else every week i watched for six months as i wasn't here everybody being posted with their little theme songs are you all ready for this episode spot i wasn't posted today I don't want to get posted today. Oh, dang. I literally forgot. I literally forgot. I literally forgot. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I literally forgot. We about, it. If, if it's not on my phone we're gonna we gotta redo it again but dang, I had a vibing. there was a question on my freaking phone. I forgot to send it to myself. Dang it, I screenshotted it. Somebody asked on the poll. Dang. So is that all you had to say, brother? I'm glad that oh. you're doing well, man. No, yeah, I think that's about it. And I'm more than happy to be back genuinely, dude. I fucking missed out way too much time, like um just not seeing my friends and not being able to do certain things. So I'm more than happy to get be you, here. bro. We got a lot of stuff planned, a lot of things happening. Twitch is going to be jumping. IRL video is going to be jumping. We're going to talk about this after the pod. I got a lot of good stuff we're going to talk about. But thank you again, brother. Thank, Welcome of back, course, bro. thank you so much. Appreciate the fuck out of you. Seriously, You man. know what I'm saying? If y'all new to the channel, subscribe down below. Like, comment, all that good stuff. Post notifications. Send it to a friend. Like I said, post notifications is free. If y'all watch the podcast, you might as well get notified every time we drop. But even though y'all know it's every Sunday at 7 p.m. So tune into that. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on the Patreon. Join the Discord for any more updates or you want to talk to us. We're all talking now and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. Anything else you want to say? Any last words? We different men. Everybody knows it's gangster. I haven't said any better. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.